Alright, the mic is hot. How's it going, everybody? I forgot to turn on the fucking game audio. Game audio. There we are. Yay! How's it going? <clears throat> Let me actually have chat up so that I can actually read it. It's probably a good idea. So I asked my friend, who's like super into this game, what his favorite uh, chapter is, and he hasn't gotten back to me yet. Um, if I'm to make an educated guess, chapter three is a common favorite. I could see chapter three being his favorite, but I don't know. That's why I asked. Yes, Cloud, I have friends. I know, it's weird. <laughs> that is the wrong button. Shut up, Goombella. Alright, we must return to Rogue Port! Why am I down The Port of HP? Rogues! Exactly one HP I was down. <laughs> Seven coins for one HP. Well, I mean, with how easy it is to get money in this game, do you really blame me? No, I guess not. Cloud. Don't. <laughs> yeah, it's actually somebody I've known longer than I've known Jordan. Oh, wow. Plant. If you remember, there was that big uh, creepypasta around Majora's Mask. Um, oh, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, ben Drowned? Yeah. I actually met him through that. God. Creepypasta. You just gave me a fucking, like, war flashback to all the creepy creepypasta shit I, used I, I saw. Never interacted, but I definitely lurked. Yeah, I was super interested in it, so I, uh, I came across... <laughs> I, I was literally about here. to explain it, but Admitting sure, to a crime. let's go with that. <laughs> Admit to the crime! <laughs> no, I was super interested in the creepypasta, so I, um, I was looking into it, came across this YouTube video that I think is off YouTube now. That uh, led to a Skype group, and that's where I met the guy. And he's the only one I still talk to from that group. Because everybody else. Oh, wait a minute. Was like certified. I almost forgot about something. What? Uh, go back down. Seriously. <laughs> it's really annoying that the, it's the same button. Go through, go through the grate. Just go through. Make it quicker. This one? No, no, no. I want you to go to the right. Or left. Go to the left. Switch to flurry. Oh, yeah. Don't blow me down. You huff and you puff. And you get a warp section! Welcome to the warp zone! Uh-huh. Since we showed the first crystal star to the Thousand Year Door, a warp zone to the town of Chapter 1 will show up. This is going to be applied to every single chapter that we do. And also... I am a simple man. I see button, I press it. Pipe. A pipe to the warp zone. Yes. I see. Yeah. And I think this door takes you to the other part. Yep. Gradual, Gradual syrup. syrup. Oh dear. Okay. 
Oh god. Thank god it doesn't have the fucking Paper Mario 64 physics where it bounces everywhere and then bounces back into you. Yeah, that was really annoying. <laughs> oh my uh, god. I guess we should go to the Because door. of this, I've gotten an expert at item dodging to the point where I Detroit defense fucking items in Mario <laughs> in this game, like, unnecessarily. <laughs> So what is uh Flurry? She like well, a weird the punies, boo? The punies called her a wind spirit. So I mean, maybe she might be the same like fucking species as like maybe like the Huff and Puffs or something. Okay. I also need a minute. I don't remember my way around. <laughs> well, where are you trying to go? Door. Thousand year door. Okay. Um yeah, you want to... That... If you take plane, that's going to take you to chapter one pipe. We do not need that right now. Uh, go back to the... And that takes you to background. So go back to the platform pipe. Get... Let's see. I've gone through this place so many several times that like... <laughs> They're like, I barely remember, so we're going to go to pipe. I don't- you can't- okay, there you go. Really annoying that <laughs> you can't. Alright. Just go on top block and you will make it. Oh, by the way, Flurry. Well, blow me down. Anyways. Happy Harpy! Happy Harpy! Can be useful. Depends on how you play. You'd think that between streams I would have come up with a new flying pun. We had a whole week. We did have a whole week. And neither of us remembered to make flying puns. Anyways. Door. The door. The door. Oh, I totally forgot I was voicing Flurry. <laughs> that went by so fast. Yeah, I also was uh, making it. We joke forgot we were voicing it. these characters. I mean, it's just show the crystal star, so it's gonna be something we hear a thousand times. A thousand times for the thousand year door. <sighs> now we glow! <laughs> it's called hyperbole. Have you ever In a way, it? we glow! And we shall have... Castle in the sky! Castle in the sky! Well, it's not a castle, Owl's it's more of a... castle? <laughs> well, it's not much of a castle, it's more of a town. The true ending, uh... Depends on what you need for the true ending, because that I have not figured out. Oh, mercy me! The next Crystal Star has made an entrance! My, my, my! But, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't it up in the sky? What does that mean? It means we need to fly. Well, you fly, Flurry. Get us the fuck up there. <laughs> that All means right. that beneath this town, the dozen old ruins remain intact. And that door has been sealed shut for a thousand years by the Crystal Stars. In order to open that seal, we have to muster the power of all the Crystal Stars. Perhaps I'm just daft. But why would they want to seal this treasure away at all? Eva! <laughs> exactly. Did they fear thieves and brigands? If not, then what? What the fuck is a brigand? Like... Like, like, like... R ruffians like the 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 hey siri <laughs> the guys that would attack a carriage in the woods <laughs> i'm sad wait i have my siri what is a brigand <laughs> Coastal raiding and intercepting ships on high seas, 
robbery, kidnapping, and murder all qualify as piratical activities, <laughs> provided there's some water and a boat involved. This Th answer is from Britannica. Thank you. There you go, I educated you all. <laughs> no, that's not... <laughs> hmm? That's not what? I don't know! For fuck's sake! Frankly, please! I'm sorry, so sorry. I know that the treasure was sealed away around the time the town was destroyed. But then the problem is, no one's even sure what it was that caused the town's demise. All that's written is this. Darkness stole the sky and the cataclysm rained down. I must research this more. Doing will just make an... Well, you know the saying. Oh yes, how inappropriate. And Mario's just trying to figure out what the thing is. In any case, what about the location of this crystal star that's floating on the map? Hmm, very interesting. Perhaps it's pointing to the floating down of Glitzville. There's a stunning arena there where great warriors engage in fury. Oh god, this is a tournament arc. Yeah. Ostensibly planned families go there on vacation to lounge and enjoy the flights, but... Behind the scenes, the richest people in the world rager on the bouts. We're going to the WWE, y'all. A floating oh city, you say? So are we just supposed to sprout wings and fly there, darling? Do tell. Where a are special you blimp flies fly? it. It's birds from Rogueport several times a day. Problem is getting a seat. The only way to get a ticket is through certain channels. Ooh, that sounds exciting! A little on the city side. Show me the way! <laughs> mm, Let's do know. crimes! <laughs> but I guess we don't have much choice. We're on the street as all tickets go through Don Pianta on the west side. Be gay and do crimes. Happy At crime. west from Roqueport's main square. <laughs> the west side of town controlled by Don Pianta. He's a Pianta syndicate head. And I heard he makes pretty regular ja jaunts over to Glitchville. God, that voice <clears> is so hard to maintain. <laughs> I like the sound of this Don Pianta fellow. I cannot wait to meet him, bro. She's so excited to meet a whole criminal. <laughs> it may sound easy, but he's a syndicate boss, folks. The rumors about him are scary. And Don Pianta is a recluse. Just getting an audience with him will be difficult. All right, <sighs> let's go do crime. <laughs> Koopley? Okay, your best Koopa father impression. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that guy. Um, Mario, Koops, how are you boys doing? I'm just amazed. I had no idea a machine like this could be used to send messages. Technology. Wow. I'm doing great. Drinking Given fresh the dad water. Vibe already. Picking wildflowers. Polishing my shell. The stone He's seems retired. so boring ten years ago. But I see the world differently now. I bet you like Petalburg more than you used to once you get back from your adventure, Coops. Where are you heading next? I want you to see the wide world, son. It'll be good for you. You'll grow. But don't grow too much, else you might be too tall to fit through the front door. <laughs> from Coopley. Selfie. I love how some of these characters actually do send selfies. It's nice. Outstanding. So I'm assuming Don Pianta is like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi. That means I'm letting you voice him because you would be better at oh. it than me. <laughs> I went to the Rumble Bump Volcano and got myself a marvelous compass feast. It was an incredible quest. There was a da there was danger and all sorts of adventuring. It was pretty harrowing, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a long story. I read the wrong. I opened right. the wrong one. <laughs> Why? Why is the oldest one at the top? <laughs> they really should give like a like a skip thing, huh? It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Just skip it. It's okay. Mario falls asleep. Uh. <laughs> well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. As soon as my ship docked on the Pudding Continent, I set out for the volcano. To reach my destination, I spent several days fording through dense jungle. Scary beasts were all over. More than once, I thought I was done for, but has it really been a few days? Were we really in the Boggly Woods that long? I mean... I mean, I guess in I real guess. life we were gone for a week, but like... Oh shit. Maybe I, like a few days. I, I would have thought it was like less than a week. I may have screamed a bit. Just get them off, you know. 
But as fate would have it, a blipper named Bluey heard me shrieking and found me in this one town. Bluey was on a journey of his own, and but joined me after hearing my tale. Now Bluey's a madman. Back in his hometown, they call him White Torpedo. <laughs> that man is not white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a tough guy when anyway. You're colorblind. Anyway, he helped him. You know what? I believe it. <laughs> yeah, he's a tough guy anyway. He helped me fight to Rumble Bump Volcano. This place was all about bubbling lava pools and the heat that make the sun sweat. And the place was lousy with evil traps designed to protect the compass piece. The scariest one of all was this gigantic 100 foot tall statue that stomped around. Now the weakness of the giant statue roll was a red gem on its forehead. Now I could jump high, but not high enough to reach this thing by a long shot. So I came up with this plan for Bluey to hit that weak spot. All you, man, I said. I waited for a pause in the statue's movements and hucked Bluey up there. Then bullseye, the white torpedo saved the day. That jewel got whacked. It was a critical hit, and that stone statue toppled and crumbled into pieces. Once that was done, it was an easy stroll to the room where the treasure was. Fortunately, Princess Declare was nowhere to be found. But I got another piece of, to the marvelous compass and put it in the base. Now the compass pointed west to Plump Belly Village on the Shrudel Continent. So I set sails once again and came back here to Rogueport to recharge. That's what happened to me lately, but I'll be heading back out soon. Want to hear about something else? No. We are good. <laughs> also, you could talk to his party members, too. <sighs> <laughs> I'm not, you know. First attack? Okay. Yeah, I don't know why they sent this in particular, because they're just letting us, informing us of a random badge. A very helpful badge, actually. Yeah. I guess. I haven't tried it, I don't think. So, so based on the description he gave, it's, uh, you equip it, and anytime you first strike something from probably from a previous chapter, uh, it just instantly dies. Oh, yeah. Okay, now I remember. Yeah, that's good if you want to do backtracking. I have worn this badge. What the fuck? What was I thinking of something else? I think maybe I'm confusing it with, like, another badge I saw in the last game where it's just, like, oh, you could do a first strike no matter what or something like that. Or, like, you don't get injured from a first strike. I don't know. It's shit like that. Goddamn. I'm getting my badges mixed up. But yes, I have that badge on all the time. It's really good for uh, backtracking. Especially with zero... Water and water, 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 yeah. Water and water yeah, they were very freaking... Water! 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 Cloud, when I have to leave in the middle of a cutscene because I feel like I'm gonna piss myself, it, it is your fault. <laughs> I want you to know. My brain is so weird. I know what everything does, but I can't. I can never remember the words for everything. I do not know why. Do you update? Whatever happened to that squishy little puny guy? I miss him. <laughs> so dead. Oh. Oh yeah, we could go this way. Oh right, Luigi's partner. I have a. I, I'm terrible at keeping a train of thought. <laughs> it's okay. My memory is shite too. Hey there, I'm Bluey, and this guy's a total liar! Don't listen to him! You heard our story, right? Well, he did try to throw me, but he completely dripped! Yeah, that sounds right. And what happens? I end up landing in lava! Lava, man! Do you think that feels good? Thanks to him, you can stick a fork in me! I'm well done, my pale skin's crispified! tanning salon. I'll <laughs> never forgive this guy. I'm gonna make him pay if it takes my whole lifetime. That's the only reason I'm still hanging around him. You'll pay, Luigi! So what, bro? You're just a little tan. That's fine. Ain't nothing wrong with being an extra well done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, time so... for West Side Story. West Side... God damn, that that is an old memory. Anyways, so we've been to the parlor. Do we have a lottery ticket? 
Go to gear. Go to useful items. Nope. No, we do not. Okay. How buy a lottery? Oh, you just talked to the big ass bomb outside. Oh. For some reason, I thought I was in the parlor. <clears throat> no, it's out here. Dum da 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 da! Every day's a lucky day with happy lucky lottery! Sounds very Japanese. With no numbers every day, this lottery's fun and exploding with excitement! I'd love to tell you more! <laughs> I love how the other options get lost. <laughs> <sighs> I feel like I'm in the city! Happy lucky lottery is so special! You pick numbers, they might win each day! Whatever you say, pal. Just buy your lucky lottery ticket here! One at a time! Buy another if you change your mind! Then check back later on this board to see if your number has come in. If your number matches the day's draw, you get a super happy lucky prize! The day's number is drawn each night at midnight! Oh god. If you play and check your board every day, your number should sure to come in eventually. And when I say midnight, I mean according to your clock at home. He is not kidding about that. It actually goes by real time. Oi. So yeah, you get the ticket. Um, you check the number each day. You don't need to buy one every day. Just keep, you can just have one and keep it. And also, it doesn't have to be incomplete. Ooh, seven one four three. Um, you don't always have to keep it. Um, you can switch it if you want. You could uh -huh. just play until you win jackpot. Whatever works. And I'm assuming it's smart enough to know. To know when you change? Yeah. Oh, it's fucking wild if you if the, once the game catches you. But yes, also, um, you could just have some numbers match and you can win something there. Nothing! <laughs> Sorry, it's an unlucky day. Your ticker isn't a winner. Ticket isn't a winner today, but here's a consolation prize! Oh shit, you have too many items! <laughs> yeah, that was kind of a reason I want you to do that, because it's basically like you get free shit either way. And it's useful. You could have put it in the storage. It's a regular mushroom. I have to no, fuck off. Okay, thank you. It's literally <laughs> That's what I was trying to tell you! Fuck you, game. <laughs> but yeah, that's what you could do. You could get... Um... You could get, like, new random stuff if you are lucky. But usually the consolation prize is always a mushroom. But I, you know, it's something so you can sell So it works pretty much coins. the same as I did not push down fuck you, game. So it works pretty much just the same as the lottery in Pokemon. If that is how that works, then yes. Can I buy a ticket? Why can I not buy a ticket? Jackass. <laughs> well, didn't they say, like, all the rich people are able to go on there only? I thought Frankly said that. Still, you should at least give me the option to pay manually. Somebody would go out of their way to grind for the coins for that. You don't buy with money. Exactly! You buy it with blood money. <laughs> Anyways. I don't actually know where I'm going. I'm kind of <laughs> just guessing. <clears throat> well, I, I could help you out, but I want to see... Uh... Unless... Okay, do you want me to help you out here? And remember, you can press ZL. As well. There must be a way to meet Tom Dom Beyonce. You want to try getting your information at the west side? I guess... Maybe if I talk to some of the NPCs in town. 
Probably worth a shot. Probably one of the Piantas, realistically. All right, best mafia voice. Let's go. The boss told me to look after this place. You do anything funny, and I'll toss you like that. Hi, hello there, Mario. Welcome to the parlor. Rescuing the princess is important, but it can wait. What can I show you? Oh yeah, you could buy stupid shit from there. <clears throat> Why nope. is the entire thing shaking? I'm just blowing wind. I have no idea, but that does nothing, so... <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Madame Flurry! I am such a huge fan. I can't believe I saw you here. Wow, I never tried talking to her with Flurry, but she mentions that like a stage person that she knew is not on stage right now. Nice. Did you know they did when you away while I open bad joint? Are you not really loafing if you're standing, mate? But still. Oh, geez, what? I won first prize and happy lucky lottery today, but I didn't even go outside. I should have gone to collect my prize. Oh well, I'm already rich anyway, so whatever. Can I have That's your ticket? Depressing. <laughs> nope. That's depressing. Anyways. Yeah, a little bit. My mom just plays Kaden all day long. She's never ever home. It's terrible. Oh god. <laughs> That's dark. <laughs> We cannot do anything with that yet. Uh, my wife spends all day in the parlor, so I get n so I never get anywhere on my novel. I wish I could have fun too. I want to go to Glitzville and see the matches. Something tells me it's his wife we need to talk to. I love checking my scores on this machine after playing games. I'm here all day. What? My family's worried about me? Oh, don't be silly. They don't mind. Okay, lady. They're all so independent. They're happiest when they're doing their own things. What I would give to live in my own world like that. <laughs> I think anyone would give to live in their own world like that. Can't do anything there. There we go. Well, if you want to learn about the criminal underworld of Warp, find Ishnel in the east part of- God damn it. Well, it's something. We have a lead! I suppose. I was so close to just telling you what you should do. <laughs> you have no idea. I was like, damn, this game really hides it. I mean, he's a mob boss. I'm not surprised. Are you wishing I now? suppose so. Wanna find Don Bianca? I don't know why you think I know something like that. The robber boss, who claims this part of town as his surf might know. Yeah, Ishnel, he's the robber boss, and Don Pianta are rival criminal heads. So, of course, talking to Ishnel about Don Bianca could be hazardous for your health. Uh, we've done dumber things. Hey. Whoa, whoa, hold up now. You're an outsider. Past this point is the Dorpa Ishnel, head of the Robos. It's 10 coins to pass through. I only have 91 coins. Try to pass without pain, and I'm afraid I'll have to whip you, but good. Fuck you! I can take you! What? You gotta be kidding. You think you can fight your way through here? I'm gonna make you eat your words, tough guy. Let's get this body started. Suck my goom nuts, bro! <laughs> what the fuck you off? <laughs> hmm. 
new enemy. His name is Gus. That's Gus. He's super annoying and tries to take tolls from everyone. HP 20, attack 3, defense 0. All in all, he's pretty tough. Oh, and I'm sure that's super obvious, but that pointy spears of his is gonna hurt if you stomp on it. I wonder if this guy watches people pass 365 days a year. Talk about a workaholic. Nope. Nice. <laughs> All right. I got a heal I didn't need. <laughs> Outstanding. That's happy heart. Happy heart. All right, time to hammer. Beautiful. No point in using special attacks that when I have infinite regular attacks. Guard. It just takes a little longer. I suppose, yeah. Save the FP for an important battle. You see, I... <laughs> I've noticed that I get impatient sometimes in battles, so I just use, like, FP a lot. Then again, you do have to think a little bit for, like, future chapters and how you use it, or what moves to use, because there are certain elemental, like, type of strengths and weaknesses that you have to consider Bitch. as well. Too bad, so sad. Now shell your way to victory. Got your ass beat, boy. 19. Not bad. Crud, you dumb video game heroes always pull this stuff. It's ridiculous. Think yeah. violence solves everything, don't you, huh? Don't you? You're not Toby Fox. Go away. That is locked. Still locked. It is hey. areas of turf at Ishnail and the rubble band of thieves. The boss is usually hiding out in a back alley that few people could spot. Yes, there is one new thing to think about for the future, by the way. What? Well, you're standing in front of it. The building, not the guy. <laughs> I've been thinking. And I think I want to meet the rubble boss just once. I, I, I want to meet the, the powerful criminal that located. can fuck me up. No. Rumor has it there's a secret passageway around here, but where could someone find it? I have a theory. Alright, well hang on, let me see what the building is first. So this is what we call the Trouble Center. And you're probably wondering what it is. It's the hint guy from Earthbound. No, it is not. D disappointing. Hey, All this right. is your first time in the Trouble Center? And I'll explain how our service works. Listen up good. The trouble Center is where people come with troubles. That's why it's named that. You want to see what kind of troubles people have? Check that bulletin board. If you're a nice guy, you'll choose someone and try to help them out. If not, not. Help someone out, and they'll give you a reward, probably. Not a bad deal, eh? But remember, if you decide not to solve a trouble, you have to pay to cancel. Got that? Well, good. Then go help someone out. And here we have... The side quest board! Oh, Lord have mercy. So... You do get rewards for doing them. Some are worth it, some... Eh. But, you know, you get rewards either way for doing side quests. Some of them are easy, some of them are a little tedious. I have done all of them so far. So, if you want to do them and you get stuck, I will help you. Because some of them are a little <sighs> tedious. Well, like a couple, I'd say. This sounds like something for me to do off screen, mostly. Um, there is one. There is one side quest I want you to do on screen, however. Okay. It is not here right now. I think you'll know it when you see it. And I think you get more each time you complete a chapter, I think is how it works. Chat, if I am wrong, please let me know. <laughs> let me know if you have to complete them or not, but I, I think they just show up with each new chapter. Who, me? My name's Pierre. 
I'm what's technically called a completely awesome thief. I used to work as a geologist researching the rocks under town, but it paid nothing. That's when Ishnail, the boss of the Robos, picked me up. I've since washed my hands of geology and now I'm an amazing thief. And that's how crime starts, kids! Basically. Alright. Are you the guy? You want something, chump? This is the Fortress of the Rabble Thieves. You lost? What business brings a chump like here. you to a place like this? <laughs> Say it ain't vacation. What's that? You want to meet that lion cheating, stealing, no good jerky for brains, Don Piana? Jerky for brains. Real thieves like wild. us end up pork as dirt, never catching a break because of that guy. Did you come here knowing all that? <laughs> and you want to yeah. know that scumbag demands protection money from us too, yeah? Hey, you know all that, and you still want us to tell you how you can meet that crumb? Why you got mind your own business, bro? Fine, Mr. Insensitive Jerk, but it'll cost you 64 coins. And no budget on that price, not a single coin. Inside info is pricey, dems to breaks. Y you'll pay, really? Yeah, you heard me. Yeah. Did I stutter? Did I fucking stutter? <laughs> yes, I mean, good call. You're a shrewd businessman. 64 coins on the nose. Okay, then clean those ears out and listen here. Store next to the piano park. I got allergies. In the west part of town, buy a dried <laughs> mushroom, then a dizzy dial. Make sure you buy them in that order. Dried mushroom, dizzy dial. Got it? Do that, and the shopkeeper will ask you what your favorite color is. You answer yellow. See, yellow is the password for getting into Don Scumbag's. Oh, so comfy. Whoa, 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 whoa. They actually said scumbag in an E rated game. That's a. Wait, what's wrong with scumbag? I'm confused. It, it it's a curse is it yes <laughs> no it's not is it pretty sure maybe you st maybe you st <laughs> are you sure not for nothing i've heard way worse shit <laughs> i i mean i have too but like <laughs> also i should i tell you about that it's not what? I'll leave it for the next chapter. Okay, um... Yeah, let's go to the Don Pianta. Bye, Coops! <laughs> they say he's still... <laughs> shelling to this day. <laughs> At one point, does he just disappear? <laughs> oh, I can't open the shop. Oh. I thought it was gonna go straight towards you. I was about to do the Mario voice. Look, Coop's just jetting straight towards me, amor. God damn it! <laughs> Start storing, Jet. I would store the Grandul syrup. And eh, all right. That's fine. <laughs> like I said, I thought- I honestly caught, thought that Coops was gonna zip over to, like, us and, like... Uh, I was about to do the Mario Bros. be like, OH SHIT! <laughs> just mm. going across, like, the entire side of town to just... J like, what color is right your mustache? Mario. That is not quite what he said, but the answer is My still yellow, I think. My mustache is obviously yellow. Are you colorblind? I have a blonde mustache. <laughs> um, let's try this again. Okay, mister. What's your favorite color? Still yellow. Yellow. Uh huh. Will you check out? You know the password. You must be an acquaintance of Don Pianta. Good for you. You can go through the door. Go on with your bad self. We cannot get that right now. That's just like out of bounds. What the fuck? Mm. Trust me, we could get it, but not right now. Anyways. These stairs look a little bit Italian, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a chuckster. This is the office of the Pianta Syndicate. Don't tell me you don't know that. Got no business here. Scaram a lamb. What would you, wise guy? I ain't too jolly today. If you got a beef, spit it out quicker. This is gonna hurt. 
We need blimp Excuse tickets. Excuse me, you wanna you want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? See now to me, that's funny. You a stand up comedian? No you ought to be. Got some nerve asking me for that. I'm dumb piano. I make crying babies weep. You want I should run this bum out on a rail boss? Look at him, what a rube. You must like pain, funny guy. Are you looking for trouble or what? Not so fast, boys. I like this guy's gumption. He just came to talk, no? That ain't a crime. So we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you rough him up. You got it? So I gotta assume you got a reason for wanting a ticket to, for the blimp. Out with it. It's a matter of life and death. Was that you want to help some broad who got herself kidnapped? That works and too. And to rescue this dame you're out collecting the crystal stars? The crystal stars? Hey boss, ain't those things the, uh, in that legend about the, the ancient treasure? Vinny, you're such a dope. Hey boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Um, excuse yes, me, but uh, that's not true. Me. The treasure is real, honest. Yeah, honestly, pull out a crystal star and show him. I know we still have him on us. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, so are they in the door or are they like, or, or, or do we just have them on our person? I'm I would pretty assume... sure we have them on our person. Yeah, no, y you know what? You're right because we could do the special attacks. Yeah. So yeah, we should have the Mario. <laughs> I didn't think of that. Shit. <laughs> Everybody, just shut it. I don't care if the treasure is real or not. Get me? But I tell you, can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue some girl he's gone gaga for. I made my decision. You do me a little favor, and you get your blimp ticket. Sounds fair, right? Sure, we can do anything. What is it? It's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter eloped with uh, one of my young associates. Yeah? They vanished, but it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to still be in town somewhere. Uh, you gotta find my daughter, Francesca, and this Frankie. And bring them both to, uh, down here. If you're unable to bring them here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. What? Fine, take them, go. I'm streaming. Stay out. Then I shall settle this matter quickly. With what is known as extreme prejudice. Boss! We don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss, Vinny's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. Quiet, you. Because oh. you lugs can't find her that I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy. Hope you dopes ain't making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? No, boss, whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. You are the boss, boss. Good. I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. It was settled, yeah? Find my daughter and her friend. Then come see me. Yes, the video is indeed Frankie in the game. Frankie look like this. But just so we're clear, if you don't find my daughter, you look me darn terrible. Well, shit. What the fuck are you gonna do? Put us in cement shoes? Maybe. Do I have to buy the stuff every time, or is the door just No, it's the, the door's just available now. Thank god. Alright. So they're not on the west side. Also, I was joking earlier, but this it does sound very <laughs> west side story e. <-y. laughs> it does. It does. Listen, musicals, I love a good musical, so I approve of this. <laughs> yes, Cloud Vinny is indeed in the game. Hmm. Bet you they're back here somewhere. Well, they said they elope, right? Where would you go if you want to get out of town? The docks. Wow. I'm just trying to speed this up. <laughs> I mean, Listen. you have a point, though. The chapter is long, so I'm gonna hit the fast forward button on that part. The boss hey. sends your regards. Hey, back off, you creep. You want something? Or are you just, like, sliding up to people? The boss sends you the regards. What? Daddy asked you to find us and take us to him? Frankie, what should we do if Daddy finds us now? Oh, I don't know. The boat's coming any minute. 
adult face. Maybe we ought to head back and try to talk to the boss one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that! Don't you know what he'll do to you if we do that? Francesca, baby doll, if we could just talk calm like with the boss, he'll understand. Frankie, my Frankie, don't you love me? Of course I love you, sugar cookie. More than anybody in the whole world. Then let's go, Frankie. Let's run to the ends of the earth if we have to. Butter biscuit. They already found us out. We can't keep running forever. We can, Frankie! The more you try to put out the flames of love, the harder they burn! Ma'am? Until I marry you, no one will extinguish these flames of passion. No one! Don't you see, mister? I beg of you, pretend you never saw us. Can you do that? Absolutely not! <laughs> your father- your father literally is threatening my life! I don't give a fuck of what you do! <laughs> <laughs> what did you say to me, you terrible, terrible man? Fine, have it your way, but we won't go with you. Never! I won't- I won't move from this spot! Not my fucking problem. <laughs> you can't move them. You can just tell where they are, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Well, that makes it easy. Oh, whatever should we do? We have to say something to that Don Beyonce fellow. I must say, though, I don't fancy a run of terrible luck. That would be unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. that's the idea. Yeah, no, he threatened my fucking life. I'm not fucking with that shit. I'm Italian, I know what these fuckers do! You ever seen a man chop off his own finger? <laughs> oh, Christ. Yikes. Mm. No, but I've seen machines chop up man's fingers. Anyway. <laughs> well, there's a difference between a machine doing it accidentally and someone doing it to fucking... Oh, that's how you get to it. Hey boss, I found them. They're at the docks. <laughs> oh, look who's come back. The proverbial mustache. You gonna brighten my mood? So give what you got. You know the whereabouts of these two? Sure, sure do. And I'll tell you. Oh, is that a true fact? Rookbard Arbor, eh? Well done. I appreciate this favor you've done for me. I'll prepare your blimp tickets. Hey you. Nim- that. Hey, hey, you two Nimrods, the kids are at the harbor, now go get them! Daddy, wait! Well, that was convenient. For Jessica. <laughs> boss, forgive me, boss. I'm sorry. I truly, I am. <laughs> Frankie, so back you come, head hung low, and with your tail between your legs. No, Daddy! Don't hurt him! I'm the one who said we should elope! It was me! But Frankie said no! He said we should come back and talk to you, Daddy! Boss, listen. I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it all for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, Daddy! No, no, no! I'm the bad one! It's my fault! Don't clip that. If you're going to punish anyone, punish me! Why? <laughs> Don't clip that! No, boss. It's all on me. It's my responsibility. I'm the all the blame right here. Daddy! <laughs> Don't clip boss. that. <laughs> Enough. Quiet. The both of you. For Jessica, my headstrong daughter, you used up your last favor long ago. <laughs> yeah, and you, favorites. Frankie. You were like a son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Don Pianta. I feel such disappointment in you two. It's like a poison mushroom in my gut. Daddy! Boss. I don't ever want to see your mugs again, you hear me? Get out of my sight. Both of you. I don't care where, just go. That's what you expected me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go, do what you want, even if it means getting married. Dad, no, wait, I mean boss! Thank you so much, Daddy. Thanks for your blessing. <laughs> boss, I'll make your daughter a happy woman. I promise you, she'll want for nothing. I'll ha I hate you all. Enough already. Just go. Go! 
Francesca, seeing you this happy makes me happy too. Congrats to both of you. Frankie, this is great. I mean, the way this all turned out is a bit sappy, but hey, things turned out okay, am I right? Goodbye, Daddy. Farewell, and thank you. Wait, so ain't her man's like the right hand of like the mafia boss? And that's like his dough. Isn't. Wouldn't they still. Wouldn't they want that shit anyways? Isn't that how like those things keep going? Mm, kind of. You still. I, I would assume. I don't know why I'm <laughs> asking like you know. <laughs> well, you found my daughter and got her to come back here. Just I hate looking you. Looking at all. how things turned out. What a complete and utter soap you. opera. <laughs> but hey, a deal's a deal. You could have your blimp ticket, like I said. Cool. Who and knew? we got a path to chapter three. Finally, that guy's got her smiling ear to ear. She's happy. That's good. Yeah, I knew you were the right man for the job. Thanks a bunch, Pally. Now go on, get your ugly mug out of my Shut office. I got up, some intense Pally. emotions. <laughs> I've got some intense <laughs> emotions to compartmentalize. That's a mood and a half. <laughs> My, my, we've done it, Mario! Next stop, Glitzville! <laughs> I never thought I'd dread voicing a character as much as I did. <laughs> okay, um, we should probably yourself. cook some items and prepare for the next chapter. <laughs> uh, cooking. If you want. It's up to you. I mean, do we get to come back if we need to? Technically, yes, but it's just, you know, it takes like a Oh, yeah, I forgot that was there. <laughs> Additionally, is there an item shop there? Because there's usually an item yes, shop there. Yes, there is area. an item. So, there is an we item should shop. be fine. So, yeah, I guess you'll be fine. It's time for a ride on the Blimpy Blimp. As Fly goes to Glitchville, you will need a ticket to travel with us. Everything looks in order. Will you be coming aboard? Yes. Yes, good fish, sir. Cheap, sir. And please watch your step as you step aboard. All right. Oh. Yay. Now let's go blimping. I've never seen the inside of a blimp. Well, you don't typically... I guess I know, you but mean, I'm like, talking the about like the area. But, like yeah, the passenger area. I've never seen it. I wonder what that's I've like. I've not seen one in person. Like I've seen like images of blimps in like the sky and shit, but like not like not like the passenger area. God, all of the partners come out during this. Cool. Thankfully so, there's only four of us. Yeah, when we start getting more partners. <laughs> I then have never tried that cutscene. <laughs> Glitz of and gl Glory! Chapter 3 of Glitz and Glory! It sure is glorious, I must admit. You said we're going to the WWE. Oh, <laughs> I love how goofy the fun was. <laughs> I mean, it is designed Ooh, after a uh, cheap cheap. Balloons. Okay. And we got pagoda architecture. My, 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 Glitzville! I've heard that the Glitz Pit is just full of brawny brawls. I must admit, the prospect of some hurly-burly gets me a touch peaked. Well, I guess I know what you're into now. <laughs> Listen. Welcome to Glitzville. She's into Bara, can you blame her? Now, darling, let's find that crystal stop! <laughs> I'm gonna pretend you didn't just say that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I 
I love the music here in this area and in this chapter. I love the traditional Japanese folk like instruments they use. I love the theme. It's fun. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is Glitzville! The tourist area in the sky. Now that I think about it, that doesn't sound very smart. Anyways! Fresh juice glitzy. The glitzy juice. Mm, that sounds dirty. Let's not do that. <laughs> the glitz. <laughs> what? Hey, <laughs> that is not what came into mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, what are we doing here now? Uh, nothing important. So let's go down. What is the point of that then? <laughs> For the for for a later time, I'll say. Hmm. Anyways, there's a hot dog stand. It's New York. That man is a pig. He sure is. <laughs> that man is a cannibal. <laughs> well, technically, hot dogs are supposed to be beef, right? Hot dogs are, are, are pork. I thought they were beef. Yes. <laughs> Vinny, me amor, <laughs> would you take a picture of the hot dog stand with me? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Coop? Yeah, we're Mike Wazowski and Coops. Where, Where is he? <laughs> Mike Wazowski. I don't even see him. <laughs> Yo, game said fuck you. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, there is an item shop, there is a star piece. Aha! There is a juice bar. There is an end coupon we can't use. <laughs> hey there, right. and welcome. Our doors are always open for Thirsty Fight fans. In what sense so of the word? A frosty juice you load up and enjoy. <laughs> I don't know. Me and Mord, will you eat with me at the cannibal market? No. no. <laughs> that fabulous mustache. I've seen it somewhere before. I know it. Yes, Mario. That's definitely a name I've heard somewhere before. Why do you seem like you're important? That's an excellent question. Bonjour, Monsieur de la Moustache. You also come to this place? Right now, I'm loopy with a lot of this ravishing creature Listen, with my over PFP, there. technically Jesus. I've seen hell. I've seen a lot of cannibals, so I could stand the cannibal wagon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, Anyways, we're going inside. There's also, there's also an item shop as well. It has more fighting items than healing items, but you get, like, decent healing items as well. Anyways, let's go inside to the Glitz Pit! Where, indeed, in the pit, there are fights! It really is a tournament arc. <laughs> I told you! <laughs> uh, I Listen, I told you, it's literally just fucking WWE. Wow, this place is so cool. Hey Mario, look up there. There's a battle match going on right now. That's right. right. I need your best. Ooh, I think it's about your best time Hulk for you to Hogan feel the rock. Okay, I was gonna say, give you your best Hulk Hogan expression. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah, brother. Stay down, pincushion. You don't want any more of this. Why'd you even show up? You hear me talking, wimpy? Stay out of the ring or feel the burn, baby. Tell you what, brother. Do about a million push-ups, then come see Uncle Rock. I'll give Rock. you another <laughs> clash spanking and send you crying home to mama again. Suddenly you're Jewish. <laughs> Holy champ! That was some great A whooping your thoughts on the match. You call that a match? Ain't there a fighter out there who can challenge me? The great Rockhawk? No, no one can. Hear me? 
Ain't a fighter out there that can make me sweat, brother. <laughs> you got a bone to pick, come fight me. Bring it, I'll take on anyone. You weaklings might as well stick to video game fighting, okay? Yeah. Cause I'll hurt you. Yeah, number one, baby. Rockhawk is a champ. <laughs> Fun fact, in the Japanese version, his name is Hawk Hogan. <laughs> I'm not dead ass. <laughs> At least in the at least in the original release, that was his name in Japanese. <laughs> There's a reason why I asked you for your best Hulk Hogan if we did impression. <laughs> Cloud, would you like to clip this? <laughs> Gold talk. <laughs> um, you see that, Mario? The thing on the shiny belt? Is that a crystal star? It looked like it. Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be. That sparkle's a crystal star. Um, but that doesn't make much sense at all. Why would it be on that guy's belt? That that's, is an excellent That's the champion question. belt. Like, what? Why is it on the champion's belt? <laughs> Boy, I don't know, Mario. It's not like we could just steal, steal that guy's belt. Or can we? What should be your- STEAL THE THING! Uh, listen Mario, I think the world of you, but really, we can't do that. Are you sure? It just wouldn't be right. It would be a lot fucking easier, <laughs> Coops! What are you talking about? Honest to god. <laughs> like seriously, just send, um... Spend, send Flurry in? She- pretty sure she is part boo, she could phase through walls or some shit. To be fair, one of her later attacks, she can make you dodgy, which is just, you know, enemies can't hit you yeah. at certain points. You gotta fight your way to the top and, and win the belt fair and square. All well, of you are- get started. There must be a novice sign up somewhere. I tell All of you are not up. fucking practical, I swear. <laughs> Honest to God. <laughs> Let's find the guy in charge before I lose my nerve. So, yeah. Guess we gotta sign up. With that bub, you wanna become a fighter? Hmm, well, if you're serious, you better go meet with Mr. Grubba, the c promoter. Mr. Grubba's office is just down the hallway. You can't miss it. Head on through. Shockingly, no. What way? So, yeah, it looks like we're. <laughs> he actually clipped it. <laughs> Cloud will do a lot of things. Dog, Mr. Hoggle's meaty work of art. Oh my god, this is a long hallway. Me and What? You passed by that office ages ago. <laughs> oh. Well, now you know. You could go around. <laughs> this is a long hallway. Also, I think there might be a star piece in one of those boxes. I don't know if it's that one, but... I would check just in case. Oh no, a badge! I knew there was something in them. See, this is where the, the spin on the Z button... Okay, uh... No, keep going. That a door. What's that? You want to be a fighter, bub? Alright, go on in. Mr. Grubb is just inside. In tarnation, are oh, you son? And who let you in? This is Grubber's office. Yep, that's me, Grubber, and you are one rude dude coming in without knocking. What now, an athlete, huh? You want to be a fighter? Hooey! That do change a thing or two, son. I always got time for an up and comer. This place is packed to the gills with young fighters all prime to wear and a raring to go. I gotta say, son, you're a bit skinny for my taste, but I'm willing to give you a shot. <laughs> hey, hey, Mario <laughs> is skinny? Sir? Bro's an actual what? spear. <laughs> what? Mario is skinny? <laughs> Sir, I eat like three pastas a day. <laughs> now, play me straight, son. You want to live the glamorous life of a champ, don't you? You done, Skippy. 
Darn Skippy. Oh, all right, all right, son. I hear where you're coming from, son, loud and clear. Now it's just a poor pup. I didn't give a pokey spittoo for fancy big city ways. But I jumped into the world of martial arts and found my way to fame and riches. And you know what I realized? Being rich and famous is diggity dang dynamite. Now I can't mix up in a ring and no more. But I earned enough, enough to set me for life. You read me here, son. Dreams do come true, even if they ain't yours exactly. Yep, that's the key, son. Dream big and you'll get big. That's the winner's way. And when you make it big, you'll look back at all those small dreamers and laugh. You read me here, son. Uh, Mario absolutely was zoning out. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. I have, AD I have ADHD, excuse me. That's the spirit here, chief. Let's have a little walk and talk. Come on now. Oh, good. It's auto walk. Not much for talking. Oh, we're making a pit stop. Whoa. That is a Game Boy Advance. It sure is. Now, how you like this part? Just feast your eyes. Go on. This is a champion's room. Ain't she a sight? Deluxe! You become champ, son, and you get the deep key to this room. That ain't all, of course. That's on top of big money and screaming fans. Yeah, no doubt about it, son. Play yourself in a life of wealth and comfort awaits. <laughs> Cursed info. Now, uh, here we are in the Major League locker room. A lot of contenders here. What do you think, son? Not exactly glamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. Totally sanitary, too. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I care about my fighters, darn it! Somehow I doubt that. <laughs> now, I'm sure you know this already, son, but there ain't one world champion. Calling your way to the top and taking a belt to become easy, become champ, ain't, a, ain't an easy thing. But that's the point, son. Wouldn't be worth it if there were no challenge. I can see you got the fire for it, too, part. You got the eye of the tiger there. Do we, though? You're gonna be champ? I can just feel it! And I ain't been so sure about a fighter. One other thing. I needed a sip ski, excuse me. <laughs> you gotta sign an itty bitty contract to be a fighter. Ain't no thing, just take a second or two of your time. Just jot your name here, right? Time to sign our souls away! You signed the contract. Best thing you ever did, son. Now you're Mario. Ain't a bad handle. Still, I gotta say, Pod, lacks a little punch as a fighter said. Get me? Let me see here. Bam! Hooray! I got it. Super Mario. <laughs> From now on, your name's gonna be The Great Gonzalez. Who ain't that a beaut? <laughs> Do I look fucking Hispanic to you, you moron? <laughs> Do I look fucking Hispanic, bro? Apparently. <laughs> Dang, if that name ain't a stroke of genius, a name that good come around once in a lifetime. Yep, everyone will soon bow down before the great Gonzalez. Make me proud, son. <laughs> Mario? The one time Mario speaketh. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that we got business side out of the way, Jolene? Could you come in a minute, darling? Oh, I knew she was important. Yes, sir. You wish to see me? Sure did, hun. Jolene, this is the Great Gonzalez, our newest rising star. Be a peach and take on take him on down to the mightily lock looker room. Alrighty. Right away, sir. Mr. Gonzalez, if you would be so kind, please follow me. I mean, I get that it's, like, a stage name, but, like, how? 
As you know, you are a contracted fighter now, so you must abide by some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Grubba says goes, period. You must do what he says. Also, as per your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grubba releases you. Oh fuck, we did sign our soul away! There are many other small guidelines that I will explain as they become relevant. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, your gut uh -huh. feeling was kind of on the... <laughs> well, here we are. This is your locker room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, then I suggest you work your way through the ranks. Well, shit. I got fucking clickbaited. When you're ready to fight, you just log onto this computer ter terminal here. Mr. Grubble will then decide who you match up against. You will have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the screen and log on with A. Then pick rank match. Yeah, remember the GBA fucking sound that you heard? Yep. <laughs> when you were calling on me? Yeah, that's what I was doing. <laughs> well, howdy, Gonzalez. Ready to get your fist dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first battle is going to be against the Goomba Bros. Don't worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Hey, we want to get everyone fired up, though. So appeal to the crowd at least once. You got any questions about the detailed rules? Just ask the lovely Miss Jolene, okay, son? Well, good luck, part. He is not kidding, by the way. Like the actual appeal command? Yeah, so okay. you will be given not only someone to fight, but he will also give you a command of what you have to do in, in a battle. Just one simple thing that you gotta do. Okay. Sometimes, it, it, sometimes it's simple as making an appeal command, or it could be as complicated as don't use FP. Oh. So, and it's random. You do not, it does not, there is no set pattern. It is actually oh. random. At least after the first one. Gotcha. Fighting is pretty basic. HP down to zero and you lose the fight. Simply winning is not enough. You must follow the conditions in order to move up the rank. Gotcha. If you satisfy the condition and win, you can battle a higher ranked opponent next. If you lose the match or don't satisfy your condition, your rank will stay the same. If you could get your rank up to 11th, you'll get a shot at the Major League. Gotcha. That's about all you need to know. Do you understand all that? Okay, good. For now, just wait until the security cam security comes to get you, Mr. Gonzalez. And you can talk to people! With no time. <laughs> no time at all. Okay, security's here to escort you. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. Ready to go. Squaring off next, folks, are the meteorite hardheads, the Groomba Bros! And a newcomer with a hankering for hammering, the Great Gonzalez! Huh. Would our hammer be allowed in the actual WWE? That is a great question that I don't know the answer to. The Goomba Bros have been fight have been waiting and getting all head up for this fight. Let's check in! I mean they've attacked each other with like barbed wire, so like the hammer is probably fine? I don't know. <laughs> I've never- I don't know anything about- <laughs> How do, Goomba Bros? How are y'all feeling today? You're ready for this fight? Huh, you kidding, man? We're always ready for to bunk a fool or two. Who is this Gonzalez rookie? A cocky idiot, that's who. Waiting just makes us mad. We're gonna teach this tardy punk how to respect fighters with seniority. I think maybe you ought to call an ambulance for him now, just to save time later. Y'all are real confident for fucking goop. You're talking mad shit for someone who is stoppable! Hot diggity dang fight fans, there's the great Gonzalez now striding on up! I'll tell you, this rookie's got some guts strolling up late like he owns the place, whoo! Yeah, call an ambulance, but not for me. <laughs> In fact, call five of them. Okay, now, Gonzalez, listen up. Let me just explain the rules of the match real quick. Wow, somebody wasn't fuck. Somebody's fucking impatient. Hey, that's not fair. You can't attack before the bell rings. That's cheating. Come on, Mario. You can't let a bunch of cheaters beat us. Let's take them down. Not quit crying, will you? That's just a little welcome gift for the rookie. Where's our thank you? Appeal to the crowd at least once. What 
watch this. Hi, my name is Gonzalez. Watch me smoke them. <laughs> There's your fucking welcome gift, dickheads. <laughs> One star point? Oh my god, this is gonna be a long chapter. The disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> the great Gonzalez wins. Tell me, son, what's the first taste of victory like? <laughs> that way, that what a joke. That was a fucking joke. <laughs> you all are as stupid though, because apparently I'm Hispanic coded now. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this guy. He's like a poet of the arena. I'll tell you what, I just saw folks a whooping this kid's got scales. We got ourselves a new hero. Let's hear it for him, folks. Yeah, the great Gonzalez. Oh god, I'm gonna regret voicing those two characters at the same time. Not too shabby for a first fight, Gonzalez. You got some promise. Now you know how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'll be heading out now. Go and get your fight money from Jolie. Here's your fight money of five coins, Mr. Gonzalez. Cool. Nineteen. Your rank went up because you met the conditions. Next fight will not be set up until you select a ranked match on the terminal. You can also check your current ranking on the terminal screen. Feel free to do what you like until your next fight. You have a nice day, Mr. Gonzalez. It sounded like a Koopa. Yo, look! How was your first fight? I'm King K. Just a bush league scrub like you. Good meeting you, man. You look like a stand-up dude. I think I can hang with you. Hey, so why don't you meet the gang, huh? This guy here is Master Crash. Nice to meet you. Boom. <laughs> well, now that we've gotten to know each other, I will give you advice. Boom. As Mr. Link was saying, you'd better boom, obey Mr. Grubba's condition. You can't clear the conditions and win, your rank won't go up even if you win the match. Boom. <clears throat> yeah, my man had, you know, some quirky speech going on, but his advice holds up most of the time. He a little special. Not just some, not just sometimes. Boom. Advice is always useful. Boom. Boom. Right, man, whatever. Anyway, this lean machine over here is Bandy Andy. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm really in here often. But do you see me around? Say hi. Oh yeah, if you sleep in the bed over there, your HP and FP will fully recover. It's not like the cushy bed in the champ's room, though. It doesn't refill star power. And that is very true, actually. Okay, cool. This like guy with the sweet <clears throat> purple kicks is known as Clefdor. Crack, crack no nightmare friend with mustache. And reject humanity. Easy there, Clef, man. Monkey. He isn't the friendliest guy. But you get used to him. Embrace caveman. Anyway. That's the core minor league crew. You need something to ask us. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You and me are gonna have to square off eventually, so good luck, man. I like this guy. This guy's cool. I'm going to rest, because I don't and know yes, what my HP is at. Resting is free, so feel free to do that for each match. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well, let's go. And you could actually also view your rankings and see who you have up against. And, uh, yeah, the names aren't too obvious, but you could see the silhouettes, you'll know what exactly. A Koopa, a Koopa, a Paratroopa. Three spinies. Three You mean drive. pokies? Did I say spinies? <laughs> yes, you yes. did. Yes, <laughs> pokies. Uh, three dry bones. Two spinies and a Lakitu. Four bandits? Well, they're called the Handed Overs. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God, are there tattles in here? Oh, God, there are tattles in here. Oh, God. So eventually, when I face the bub -omb Squad, that's what puts me into the big leagues. Well, you have to win, and win the bub -omb Squad in order to get a chance to be in the big leagues. Right. So then I would have to bub -omb Squad and then beat them to get in the top ten. Gotcha. Okay. Yep. I'm just gonna... 
just in case. <clears throat> well, boy howdy, Gonzalez, fix it for a fight, huh? Okay then, your next opponent will be... Raid 18 in the Blitz Pit, the KB Koopas! Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid swapping partners out. <laughs> I told you, it's random every time. Gotta bring who's brung, who you brung with you. I'll fight to the end, side by side now. That's drama! Now get in there, stand by your side, partner. Hey, looks like your next match is against me. Good luck, man, to both of us. Hi, Kim! Hey, Kim. Where have you you're gonna been? Watch me, you're gonna watch Vin struggle and me murder my own voice. <laughs> Uh, I have Koopa and Paratroopa, so... Uh, then my best actually, bet would be have... At no, a graduation. Nice. Yeah, I was gonna say, they're yellow. So, Ooh. they might be a little different, I think. Fuck, I don't remember. Fine. I think they are different. Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. Let's go! Honestly, Goombella's useful anyway because it's Koopa's. Yeah. So she could flip them over anyways. Yeah. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Shell Machines of Doom. Yep, a fight to the finish with the KB Koopas! Come on, Mario! Let's get this over with. Meet my peeps, Gonzalez. I told you we were gonna square off, and now it's on! Get yourselves ready to battle! Alright, let's try try to bring up the smoke. Okay. Don't swap let's partners. See. Let's see if they have HP bars. They don't, so they Fuck so they are me, different. Game. <laughs> Alright. Wait, you Oh, that should've... was a mistake. Alright. It's not gonna be perfect, but you know what? Let's just tattle, tattle one of them and let's just go from there. <laughs> My brain said put the Koopa, the paratrooper down. It would have done the same thing either way. <laughs> That's a KB Koopa. It's a Koopa Troopa of a slightly different color. HP 4, attack 2, defense 1. <sighs> Looks like its abilities are just any Koopa, so he's a piece of cake. Don't go easy just because you know that's King K, Mario. That's what friends are for. <laughs> you know what? It's okay. Less Koopa we gotta worry about attacking. <laughs> you look so disappointed. Listen! Listen! There is a way to get these characters tattled. It's fine. If my hunch is correct. And my memory. I'm gonna go with my hunch since my memory's dog shit. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's very easy to not swap partners, but like... God fucking damn it. That was entirely on me. <laughs> hey, listen, we were not right not to swap partners, it's just... <laughs> the gun got jumped a little. <laughs> a little bit. I guess I could have swapped partners just to fail the condition and refight them. I guess so, but it's not that big of a deal. We got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez! What did you expect, huh? We rock! Here's your fight money of six coins, Mr. Gonzalez. <laughs> six coins! Eighteen. Your rank went up because you met the conditions. <sighs> now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Hey, way to hand out a beatdown out there, man. You beat me straight up. Could swing the other way next time, though. You know what I'm saying? Ah, <laughs> you wish, bro. I don't think I took any damage, but better safe than sorry. Oh, well, like I said, it's free. Yep. A 
That's exactly the type of GBA that I had growing up. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fix him for a fight, huh? Okay, then your next opponent will be... Rank 17 of the Glitz, but the Pokey Triplets! Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid using your jump. No jumping whatsoever. Well, shit, sure, that makes it easy. Yeah. I want to see a pure test of power without none of that flouncing around you, get me? Now get in there and hand out a whooping or two. So, yeah, like I said, it is random for each battle. It's different every time. So, really, just... Godzilla, it's match time. Follow me, bub. So just hope you, you get a decent setup. Yeah... I did get a setup that fucked me over one time, and I lost a life shroom. It was sad. Outstanding. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and... The Spike Terror Triplets! Yep, a fight to the finish with the Pokey Triplets! We aren't going to lose to the likes of you! Come on, touch us! It won't hurt too much. I'm, I'm going to fucking call the police. Get yourselves ready to battle! Damn, I was hoping you would see me holding up the text box and just keep going. <laughs> My voice tired. <laughs> I will do that at one point, though, knowing me. Let's get ready to rumble! I will do that, but it will be random. <laughs> that's a pokey! It's a cactus ghoul that's got nasty spines all over its body. HP 4, attack 3, defense 0. Look at those spines! Those would totally hurt if you stomp on it. You'll regret it if you do! Pokies attack by lobbing parts of their bodies and charging at you. They can even call in friends for help, so be quick about taking them out! I am not kidding, they could actually summon new pokies, so yeah. It's not a jump. <laughs> it's not a jump, you're correct. It's a special attack. Get fucked. Wasted. We got ourselves a winner! The Great Gonzalez! What did you expect, huh? We rock. Here's your five money of seven coins, Mr. Gonzalez. <laughs> First six, now seven. We're slowly moving on. Five, six, seven, and his next one's probably gonna be like eight. <laughs> Here, all right, because we met the conditions. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. She really hates this room. <laughs> to be fair, I that hey. place got to smell like sweat. Probably. And fucking Axe body spray. Get me out of here. <laughs> you just you know I'm right. Down some poor fools or what? You're looking you good, man. You know I'm right. The old King K wouldn't mind a little bit of your luck. Yeah, that'd be nice. We've graduated high school. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. How many times do I have to tell you that room is absolutely off limits? If you want to remain on our fight roster, you must follow the rules. And don't think I haven't noticed you following me. Stop that too. It's creepy. If you don't obey the rules, we'll ban you from the glitz pit. Understood? Yeah, brother man, you stalking her? Again, dude, man, you are just a magnet for trouble. Hehehe, <laughs> sorry, King Gay. Didn't mean to bring the rules queen in here. Ah, don't sweat it, B-Money. Jolene just can't take that... Can take that toot and shove it up her nose. Why are you always chasing that girl Damn. anyway, man? Oh, you know, no particular reason. Now, if you folks will pardon me, I must be off. He's gonna get his ass beat. 
Sir, that is not how you court a woman. You save her from a monster, that's how you court her. <laughs> oh, exhibition match. Uh, yeah, right. So, practice fight. Yeah. You can try and tattle the par paracuba if you want. Do I get to do this after the end of the chapter? Uh, well, you get, you'll get always get to do this after the end of the chapter, but... You okay, know, then I can wait till later. <clears throat> Actually, now that I think about it... Actually, you do get restricted after the end of the chapter, so yeah, maybe like maybe do it before we go up the <laughs> before we go to the major leagues. Okay. Well, boy howdy, Gonzalez! Your next opponent will be rank 16 in the glitz make the dead bones! Now listen, son of this battle, I want you to avoid using your hammer. Not even once, son. Okay. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I wanna see how you do when you ain't got something to beat a fellow with. Now get in there and let's see some acrob acrobatifying. Ac acrobatifying. Acrobatifying. Why is everything the A button? <laughs> uh. God damn it. <laughs> For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and... The Bone Bangin' Rockers, yep, a fight to the finish with the Dead Bones! We are going to lose to the likes of you. Well, I gotta take the skin off your bones. Well, fuck, that sounds violent. Get yourselves ready to battle! Alright, so I can't hammer. You can't hammer, but you have jump. Oh wait, I have them already. Done. Acroma Batifying. Let's get ready to rumble. Oh, wait, it's over. We, <laughs> we got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez! Let's go. Alright, give me my eight coins. You should find oh, one sorry, of your nine, nine coins, coins, Mr. Gonzalez. Cool. Now, if you excuse me, I must be going. Man, I heard you just knock some blocks off. Not bad, Double G Man. You're the real deal, the realest I ever seen. Keep busting heads. If anyone gives you a lip, you just tell him King K is set to back it up. Bizow! Oh, what did oh, he do? Oh, hearts! What did he do? Quiet. My foot! Oh, you're fine. Just shut up. High pressure right there. Ah! Do we have a gag, maybe? Come on, get a grip. Mommy! Out of the way up there. Wow, sounds like some poor sucker just turned himself adrift to the hospital. Just hey, like man, the this real is a brutal sport. Yeah. Hey, man, this is a brutal sport sometimes, you know? This stuff happens. Listen, I don't know anything about WWE except, like, growing up, my brothers and my father would watch WWE. And all I know is I just remember, like, seeing big burly guys being flopped onto the floor and like and all i could just think of is son your spine mm. your spine is gone it's broken 15 in the glitz pick the spike storm now son in this battle i want you to use at least one special move okay uh, <laughs> a little st low on star points man sure the crowd needs something I'll flashy see what i can do now get on there and blow the roof off son
Also, I have changed literally nothing. I don't know why I got quiet on your end. I, I don't know. Maybe I accidentally, like, pressed the volume button. Probably. For our next... The Midnight Spike Bombers! You have a fight to the finish with Spike Storm! Alright. S tier voice. Get yourselves ready to battle! Alright, these are two new tattles. Yeah, and you can use stylish moves. Or peel! Whatever you want. Fair point. The only one I can do. It's the only one you can do. Unless you just want to use a peel or something. And, and grind for Earth Tremor. Okay. Ooh, one of the enemies has an item, though. But a heal's not gonna help. Huh. Okay, we're fine. We'll be fine. It doesn't look like a major item, so I don't think it's gonna do too, too much. That's a spiny. Basically a spiked cover Koopa. Ugh! Looks painful! HP 3, attack 3, defense 3. These things have such high defense that you can't even hurt them when they roll up. So when they go back to normal, they'll do all the damage you can and do it quickly. If you flip them over, their defense drops to zero. That's the time to take them out. Cool. Jumping on them is just plain stupid, so try using a pow block or some other item. Ow. A mini Mr. Mini! Okay, this is why we have Happy Heart. That's a Lakitu. It's a member of the Koopa Clan that rides on clouds. HP 5, attack 2, defense 0. It attacks by throwing sp spiny eggs. Blech. If you stop on it when it's holding up a spiny egg, you'll take damage, so don't do it. Spiny eggs slowly hatch in the spinies, so beat the Lakitu before fighting the spinies. Aw, this book doesn't answer my real question. Where's it keep all those spiny eggs? <laughs> yeah. mm. mm. <laughs> Alright, chat, I want your best theories. Go. That is an excellent question, Goombella. No, I can't fucking stop thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> I can just see all the enemies attacking him, everything like that. Meanwhile, Mario's brain is just, fuck, where are they stored then normally? <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> I love ADHD Mario. Like, he's doing this on autopilot while, like, abs where the fuck are absolutely, they? like, focused on- Are they in the co Oh, no. <laughs> Fine, I cleared the condition, that's what's important. Fair. Suck my ass, game. <laughs> yeah, it it is not forgiving if you... <laughs> yeah. Like, is it in the cloud? In the shell? Oh, they stole it off the ass? Like, where? <laughs> <laughs> I think it also didn't help that we had our attack down still. They're eggs, so did they just reproduce? <laughs> is it laying these <laughs> eggs before throwing them? If so, ow! <laughs> yeah? <laughs> do they come out, like, with all of the spines? Or do they grow do they the spines the after they're out? How the fuck? And if so, you still have to store them because they're not sharp yet! <laughs> like, what kind of minerals do you, does that take to make it work? Well, like, let's try that again. Goombella! I'm gonna be up at night thinking about this shit! <laughs> That's more like it.
Like, are they the babies or some shit? <laughs> I just don't... Oh my god. <laughs> oh, suck. Fuck off. Oh. Alright, I have a request that we not wait and use something already. Because this is just getting stupid. Oh, that's a single fucking target. <laughs> Goombella just summoned the, the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I have the power! <laughs> That didn't knock him oh over. Oh my god! Uh, fuck off, man. <laughs> fucking grub on it. God damn, this shit's taking a while! <laughs> okay. What else we got? Can I blow Flurry him Three body slams! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even do anything. Now, is this gonna work? Yes! See ya! Oh my god! I was getting bored. She just couldn't stand watching this anymore. Fuck that was long! We got ourselves a winner! The Great Gonzalez! Why, that was no fuss whatsoever! Seriously though, where the fuck did they come from? <laughs> Here's your fight money of 10 coins, Mr. Gonzalez. Do you know where they keep the spawny eggs? Jolene, I have an important question! <laughs> <laughs> Do they come from the asshole? <laughs> oh god, that uh, that opens up the question of toad anatomy and how does a toad give birth? So I gotta go now, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> oh my god! Your ranking, your make, your ranking goes now. <laughs> Excuse me, I gotta, I must be going. <laughs> But do they go? Where did they come from? <laughs> hey man, check this. I heard the hot dog stand outside is getting a new menu item that uses a mystic egg. Did you know mystic their egg. hot dogs can restore your HP and FP during a match? That's some serious nutrition. I'm not sponsored yet. Just excited about some probably amazing hot dogs. You ought to, you ought to snack out on one. I wonder if the Major League takes sponsors. <laughs> 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 Goblin H ADHD Mario is my favorite Mario we've made. <laughs> hey there, Gonzalez, how's it going? <laughs> Me, I'm doing a little research. Hey, speaking of which, ever hear of the Seven Wonders of the Glitz Pit? The Glitz Pit has Seven Wonders? Yeah, this place has rumors and secrets and <clears throat> spades, but the Seven Wonders of the Glitz Pit are the most mysterious of the bunch. These things fascinate me, so I wander around doing research on them. Well, so how about it? Want to hear about the Seven Wonders or not? Oh, God. Well, they're there. The sealed wall. The man-eating toilet. <laughs> the stairs of mystery. The haunted boudoir. The spooky ring lights. The missing ones. Rubba and Jolene. No, thank you. It's possible that they're just gossiping rumors. But I gotta tell you, I think they're real and I think they're sketchy. I'm gonna rat behind all of this and someday I'll solve all these mysteries. If you ever want to hear more about this stuff, just say the word, okay? Something tells me that's going to be important later. That is a lot Whoa. of toads. Oh, it's him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone wants a piece of the rock. It's a tough life. Use a little free advice. Try to be me. Yeah, because everyone loves to rock. Okay. <laughs> Sure, buddy, whatever works for you. Whatever helps you sleep at night. No, stop that at once! This behavior is unacceptable in a food stuff! I insist you desist! Huh. No, please come back to me! Someone help! My rare imported egg has escaped! Please catch it! Where the fuck did you get that egg? <laughs> that looks like a Yoshi egg. 
Seriously, where the fuck did you get it? Smash the egg. <laughs> Time to choose violence. <laughs> Absolutely unacceptable in a polite society. I insist you come down at one egg. How am I to reach up there? Fly? Like a common sparrow? Maybe. Oh, it sleeps. Well, thankfully, I know how to get there already. You sure do. Fly me to the moon and let me play. I fucked it oh, up. Oh, you missed! <laughs> Don't mind us. <laughs> Random family that's here. Okay, once more with feeling. Let me through the air to get this. Yoshi out his hair. <clears throat> huh? Did you hear that, Mario? You don't want to be eaten, little Eggy Waggy. It's so adorable! What should we do, Mario? Should we help? Let there, there be, be hot dogs! dogs. <laughs> Let there be hot dogs! <laughs> Come on, Mario, that's just tasteless. <laughs> don't scare the little guy. <laughs> Try not to be so childish. This is shit you would do if I, like, saw something cute, and then you would just be like, Yeah, let there be hot dogs! <laughs> you would go full gobble and I'd just be like, why are you like this? <laughs> Mr. Hot Dog Stand Guy, it looks like this egg doesn't want to be eaten. How did you get up there? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay to let it go, right? Oh, very well, fine. I suppose that's just not market for cuisine anyway. That jumps, anyway. Awesome! Did you hear that little eggy waggy? You're free! See you around! He's gonna follow us, ain't he? Huh? What is it now, Eggie? You want to follow us, is that it? I'm pretty sure our little buddy here wants to hang out with us. Do we let it? Uh, sure, new pet! You hear that, little guy? Just make sure not to get in our way, though, okay? We fight a lot of people. You'll, you'll get squished. Outstanding. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a whole ass family that just watched that go down. <laughs> Parents are fighting. The kid is watching in horror. Anyway. Well, no, they're not fighting, trust me. <laughs> That's not what they look like when they fight. <laughs> oh, they damn, they angry. left. Hey, look, camera, news folk. <laughs> I love the posters and everything that they did for, like, all the fighters. Huh? Damn, bro! You're a minor leaguer and your nickname is Great? <laughs> Damn. Move aside, you want to be? My camera settings can't process minor leaguers. Damn! My ass! Hey, it's the Great Mustache! You're a famous fighter, huh? Are you in Prince Mush Mat Pals? Alright. Before we do another fight, I have to pee. Ah. I see. <sighs> I should probably Yeah, let me Let me, let me, let me I will be back in a moment
Hello. Why, uh, hello there. We gonna take a rest. Alright, I do believe it is match time. <clears throat> Let's get ready to rumble! Well, boy, Harry, your next opponent will be the Handed Overs! Oh, now listen, son, in this battle, I want... Alright. <laughs> he wants us to not get hurt. Or let ourselves get hurt. I only half read it, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Oh, well, let us know when we get in there. He said it's boring when it's too one-sided, so I think it's let ourselves get hurt a few times. <clears throat> For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and... The Grim Death Burglars, yep, a fight to the finish with the Handed Overs! Let's get this over with. <laughs> We're awful quick, awful agile, and just plain awful. Get yourselves ready to battle! Alright, let's show them the smoke. Take damage at least three times. Okay, yeah. That's fine, because I need to spend a few turns, um... Not with a rock. <laughs> <laughs> no, not with a rock. Don't I will. Rocks at people. I will take damage from these guys, but not from the. Uh... Not from the audience. Yeah. Besides, I need to spend at least two turns saddling. Oh That's hey! That's a bandit. This scumbag tries to bump you and grab coins, jerk! I still don't think Scumbag is a curse. HP 5, attack 2, defense 0. If you time your guard well, when he attacks, he won't be able to steal anything. Plus, the look on a bandit's face when you guard successfully is priceless. If a bandit steals coins from you, defeat him before he flees to get your coins back. Okay. Yeah, we might get kind of robbed since <laughs> we need to take damage. But let's see. Oh, we need to get robbed. Try! That's a lot of damage, dude. My mushroom fry! Douche! <laughs> That's right. a big bandit. Basically a boss among ordinary bandits. HB 8, attack 3, defense 0. Unlike other bandits, he'll steal your items as well as your coins. Totally weak! If you guard well when he charges at you, he'll blow by without stealing anything. If he robs you, you won't get your item back unless you beat him right then. He'll run! I don't have you... enough. So I'm you gonna have to- You people fucking suck! Oh, no, no! <laughs> Out of habit. I'm sorry. He's gone. Don't with my run. mushroom fry. You asshole! She can't super guard. No, she could super guard. Douche! Okay, we took damage at least three times, okay? <laughs> but yeah, she could super guard. All the party members can super guard. Why does it say to a party member? You could do that for Mario and everyone else. What a weird set of words. Sleep. I'm going to fuck you all up now. <laughs> it's just pissed. for Detroit defense, bitch. <laughs> Yo, 
the stage ended this early. <laughs> We got ourselves a winner! The Great Gonzalez! See? No biggie! <laughs> we say as we got our food stolen from us. I'm so upset. Here's your fine money, Mr. Gonzalez. Maybe it's that she hates the bandit guy. <laughs> Very possible. Did you hear the latest G-Man? My boy said they saw a stunning babe having a juice at the fresh juice shop. She likes juice, I like juice, we already have so much in common. Check her out for me, man. <laughs> Come on, Yoshi Egg. Alright. Time to flirt! I need to save her from some monster, that's the only way I can flirt. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Bowser when you need him? <sighs> Probably just getting to the Boggly Woods. If I had to guess. <laughs> oh, good grief. Yeah, that's her. Prince Mush, the first glitched pit champion. A fighter since, fighter long since lost. He's shown truly and brightly. Many fans still hope that he may dramatically return. Of course, I'm one of them. I long for the poetry of his pure fighting style. Neat. Random. Okay. And she says the same thing. Okay. Interesting! There was a lot of talk of a fellow known as Prince Mush, eh? Yes. Penny, hmm. for your thoughts? My stomach is upset. Yikes. So, bear with me a moment. Uh, have fun. Alright. He should not have left me here. All I know how to do is Goblin Mario. So who the fuck is Prince Mush? I don't know who the fuck that is. Prince Mush sounds weird. Why is he a prince? I mean, cool, good for him. But I haven't met a lot of princess. I mean, he fucking vanished. That tells me all I need to know. <laughs> God. How hey, hey, y'all enjoying the stream so far, huh? <laughs> I hope y'all are enjoying fucking or er, my S tier voice acting because it's going on overtime today. <laughs> All right. Do not spam links in the chat, please, and thank you. Don't do that. Hello, one and all. Alright. I need to get ready for this next fight. Lord knows who the fuck I'm going to be fighting. Mario's just like practicing, <laughs> like doing like those like like air punches that boxers do before a fight. Alright! How am I doing? Gumbella's just like, you're doing great! Come on, you're Gonzalez! And Mario's like, I'm Gonzalez! He's like, who's the man? I'm the man! Even though I'm not fucking Hispanic at all! <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, enjoy doing what? I'm fucking, I don't know. Just enjoy the vibes. Enjoy vibing. Enjoy me saying the dumbest shit possible. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. My brain is on autopilot, much like Mario's. <laughs> Yes, exactly.
Alright. I can fucking do this. <laughs> King Gay is like, dang, you're, you're dapping yourself up, huh, man? It's like, I have to. That is my secret. <laughs> I dap myself up. Gosh. The minor leaguers are very chill, I must say. Now, if only we could get our star power back up, that would be great. <laughs> huh. You know, I could have taken this time to rest my voice, but instead I just chose to do the Goblin Mario voice. Oh, well, Mario's asleep again. I got the fucking board. <laughs> It's been fun so far. Well, that's good to hear. Because there's a lot more of this chapter left. This chapter is like way longer compared to the last two chapters that we've done. So this is probably not going to take... It's going to take more than this stream in order for us to, you know, stop. To finish it up. So enjoy some extra stream times. Enjoy this longer chapter because it is a fun one. The saga is real. Don't mind me, I'm just refilling my Kirby Tumbler, Kirby Tumbler container with water because I've been drinking extra water and that's why I needed to pee earlier. <laughs> Anyways. Ah. All right. Gosh, I like I, Can I just say right now like one detail that I love is like if you look outside in the glitz pit, you just see like all the advertising and the posters for all the fighters. <laughs> it's I it's such a small detail cuz it's not just Rockhawk, it's all the major leaguers. So, I don't know why, but that detail makes me so happy. <laughs> I love world building shit like that. I eat details like that for breakfast. I eat minor leaguers for breakfast too. <laughs> thank you, Mario. Thank, thank you. Thank you for you. You just need to dap yourself up again. It's cool. I get it. <laughs> Mario's like, no one's stopping me now. I'm getting into this game. <laughs> Honestly, though, that was my mood throughout when I first played through this whole chapter. It's honestly, it's peak. I love it, and I, and I think, and I think, um, Vinny loves it too. I think so. Yeah, it's been fun so far. Hello. Uh. Alrighty then. Mario had to take a quick nap. Something like that. Alright, on to the next fight. I am gonna have to get up again at some point because uh, we have uh, an Instacart order coming. Oh, then rest in peace. Alright. Boy, howdy, Gonzalez! Your next opponent will be the Mind Bogglers! Now listen to some of this battle, I want you to wrap this up in five turns or less! For God's sake. I'm running out of water. Fuck. <laughs> I got a date with my best gal in just a few, and I don't want to be late. Yeah, you have a date? Now get in there and bring this puppy home quick. Random. So the reason that this chapter is longer than the previous two is that you have to wait for everything. 
Well, yeah, that's the thing. And everything has, like, two cutscenes connected to it. Thanks. For our next battle, we got the merciless executioner, the great Gonzalez and... The Grey Entanglers, yep, a fight to the finish with the Mind Bogglers! Every single one of those I have the tattle for already. Yes, you do. Get yourselves ready to battle! Oh, you can always bring Flurry out. This is true. When in five turns or fewer, although I think I want that shroom. I mean, is there a way for us to get that? It's not a guarantee. Actually, no, because it's not in the field. So I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, not really. Though it's smart to get rid of that enemy first. Now that's one turn? Right? Yeah. Do -do 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 -do. Two turn. And he said five or fewer? Yeah. Are you recharging your SP? Yes, ma'am. It's in tactics. <laughs> Close enough. Oh, there we go. Wait. Haha, <laughs> denied. <laughs> Suck my ass, game. <laughs> oh my gosh. We got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez! See? No biggie. Alright. Another cool. fight down. Another one, bats of dust. Here's your money of 12 coins. 13. Oh wow, we're getting up there. First rule about Fight Club? Don't talk about Fight Club. If I can't talk about Fight Club, what the fuck am I supposed to talk about? This is literally all I've been doing! Listen, man, keep it under your hat, but I'm thinking about retiring soon. If I stay any longer, well, my future might get shorter, you know? But after the next match, I'm gone. You get your cool ass beat that run, quickly? That's for sure. But you know what? <laughs> that's life, Double G, man. Listen, you stay cool, okay? Promise me you won't forget you once knew King K. Well, then Wait, we should- Let me do an exhibition match against him. All right then. Just so Let's I can have a up. gold paratrooper. Because if he's right. retiring soon, it's probably better that I uh, get it now. A farewell fight. <laughs> I think I have all the other tattles. Yeah, no, you have all the others. Welcome back, bubs. Don't. <laughs> I'm not going to make the same mistake I made last time. I promise. <laughs> That's how we got into this mess in the first place. <laughs> I, I, I was about to... You heard it in my voice, too. That's a KB Paratrooper. HP 4, attack 2, defense 1. Attacks are the same as your average garden variety Koopa Paratrooper. Just do the same thing, stomp it, flip it, and defense will drop to zero. My head bonk is pretty effective, too. Come on, let's get him! Oh, well, they don't give you, like, a condition or anything. That's nice. I mean, it's an ex exhibition match, so it doesn't really matter that much.
bitch. Not that I need the HP restoration, but you know. Umbella is stronger than Mario. <laughs> oh shit! I just realized that. Alright. So Nikhil can need... fucking message me on Twitter, but he can't be in chat. I, uh, you know what? It's, it's his it is it's his prerogative. Four coins! Cool. Alright. There's no reason not to nap between matches. Yeah, no. There is no reason. Fix it for a fight, huh? Your next opponent will be ranked 12 on the Glitz pick, the Punk Rocks! I want you to use at least one special move, okay? Well, thankfully, <laughs> I just restored my SP. Crowd needs something flashy. Catch my drift? Now get in there and blow the roof off, son! I don't know why I find that animation of Mario so entertaining. <laughs> oh, the one where he's flapping his arms? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, it's the prelude before the panic animations in Super. I don't blame you. <laughs> For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Green Torture Squad. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Pog Rocks! Come on, Mario, let's get this over with. There's no take long. Descending pain for mustache. Oh, this fight might be rough. If it's the enemies, I think it is. Let's get ready to rumble. Oh my god, yeah, this fight might be rough. He was right to use one special move. Okay. Tattle them first. I mean, it's a random thing, so like... I just got lucky that the yeah, thing that I would use lucky. against these enemies also happened to be the thing I need to do. That's a hyper ball clip. HP 3, attack 2, defense 2. These hyper versions can build up its energy and boosting its attack to 8 on the next turn. Really? You're quadrupling your attack? Ooh, it has boy. low HP, but its body is rock hard and impervious to fire, making it super tough. It says here that item attacks are pretty effective. Beat it before it goes hyper. Super Saiyan? Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan. It's time for Super, Super Saiyan. Saiyan. Let's go. The Crystal Star attacks are a lot more useful than the um, Star Spirits in the first game. Yeah. Mostly because Earth Tremor is so fucking useful and you get it so early. Yeah. And they're dead. Wasted. Like? Fucking wasted. Ah, you're back. Ah, thank you for the resubscription trim. Buy yourself something nice with all of this money you're getting from. <laughs> Yay! Much like thank Trevor, you. it is something nice, not expensive. <laughs> We got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez! Alrighty then. Alright. How you doing today, Trim? Need to fight money of 12 coins, Mr. Gonzalez. Mario's ranking went to 12. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Bit tired, been cycling all over. Ooh. Oh, wow. Didn't know you uh, were into cycling. Alright, let me just double check. Exhibition. You mean. Do they count as a unique cattle? I no, think... no, they're just regular Goombas. Okay. If there is an HP bar you saw on them already, you don't need to tattle them. Okay. Now you're preparing for the next uh, 14 expansion. Okay. I didn't know there was a new one coming. Have those, have those, have those, have those. 
have those. Yeah, okay. uh, one could tell us if you saw their HP bars already, you already you don't need to tattle them. Yeah. And we saw their HP bars already when we first got into the fight, so we don't need to worry about that. Yeah. Fix it for our fight, huh? Okay then, your next <coughs> opponent will be ranked 11 in the glitz bit, the bomb bomb squad. Now listen, something this battle I want you to avoid using your jump. No jumping whatsoever. Get that out. sounds bad. Okay, um. Because they're bombs. If I hit them with the hammer while they're ignited, a tattle first and then get coops. Yeah. And don't don't super guard. <laughs> yeah. You could be a painter in it. Ooh. Cool. Throw paint at the gods. Paint at the gods. Sick. But yeah, you know what? That sounds right for Final Fantasy. <laughs> Works for me. I'm a sketch artist. I'll be a menace. <laughs> Fuck you, God! Just throw paint at him. <laughs> Who needs? <laughs> not gonna. I'm not gonna say that. Who needs? For your our next battle, we got the merciless executioner, the great Gonzalez, and. <laughs> Who needs legendary weapons when you have a paint bucket? <laughs> Listen, I'll just do what the climate protesters did. People don't like those anyway. <laughs> uh, the big bomb boomers. Yep, a fight to the finish with the bomb mob squad. We aren't gonna lose to the likes of you. Here we go, Gonzalez. Boom. I have advice. Just skip it now. Boom, boom. Get yourselves ready to battle! Sorry, Trim. I don't have alert command. <laughs> I could set one up, I am just lazy. Okay. Use her first to do the tattle. And then use Mario's turn to switch to Koops. That's a bomb. It attacks by blowing itself up. Yeah, real smart. <laughs> HP 4, attack 2, defense 1. Obama will totally get mad if you damage it. They have, like, super short fuses. When it gets mad, it'll charge and explode on its next turn. That attack really hurts. Oh, and if it's mad, it'll blow up at the slightest contact, so don't attack directly. Attack it from a step away with a hammer, or hit it something hard, like a shell. Mm-hmm. Ow, you bitch. Ouch. Ouch. Ow, you bitch. Ow, you bitch. Ow. <laughs> Coops. You just pissed off all of them! <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I just made this a lot fucking harder for myself. <laughs> Okay, Mario, so don't piss him off! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Mario, what the fuck did I just say?! <laughs> oh, I thought you told me to piss them off and explode early. <laughs> that is not what I said at all! <laughs> Do you hear anything I say?! I thought it would be efficient! They have defense! Coops! <laughs> Coops is fucking dead. Can I go home now? <laughs> well... Kumbala, we're, we're with an idiot! I know! <laughs> Get me out of here! I don't know how! It's fine! It's fine! We got ourselves a winner, the great Gonzalez! Damn, that looked rough! <laughs> We did it, Wario! Mario! <laughs> Why do they call you Wario? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a little out of it. Here's your fight money of 12 coins, Mr. Gonzalez. I can still- I can still see the flashbangs! Quite. <laughs> <laughs> uh... It's quite lonely without King K around. Boom. No lonely. Him weak. Now him not here. Sound normal, Cleftor. You are in. Boom. Denial, Cleftor. I saw you weeping in that locker. Boom, boom. 
<laughs> just spat all over my keyboard. <laughs> well, here we are. This is your locker room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you've just started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way up the ranks. <clears throat> when you're ready to fight, you just log on to this computer terminal here. Mr. Grubble will then decide who you will match up against. You will have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the screen and log on with A. Then pick rank match. <clears throat> Use the terminal now. Don't you understand the basic instructions, Sir Swoop? He, he's doing it! What are you talking about? Well, howdy, Sir Swoop. Ready to get your wings dirty, huh? There you go, son! Got a treat for you. Your first battle is gonna be against the Goomba Bros. Don't worry about them. They're a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Mm. <coughs> hey, we want to get the crowd fired up, so do a move where you do triple flip and meow. What the fuck do you think he is? Got any questions? Just got any questions about the detailed rules? Just ask the lovely Miss Jolene, okay, son? Well, good luck, pard. Okay, your battle is reserved at this point. You just wait until security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team that drops the opponent's HP to zero to first wins. Simply winning is not enough. When Mr. Grubba sets fight conditions, follow them. In this case, the condition is to do a triple flip and then meow. Really easy. Is he parquet? If you satisfy the condition and win, your rank goes up and you battle a high ranked opponent next. Get your rank up to 11 and you'll get a shot at the major league. That's about all you need to know for now. Did you understand all that? <clears throat> okay, good. For now, just wait until security comes for you, Sir Swoop. <laughs> um, um, hi. Hi, guys. Yeah, my name's Swoop. Sir Swoop, I mean. Nice to meet you. He's gonna get his ass beat. Doom. <laughs> you, yes, you, Sir Swoop. Time for your battle, bub. Follow me. Okay, security's here to escort you to the ring. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. I fucking... Wait. Fucking... Our... Our swoop sport cat? <laughs> he just has another thing he's gonna obsess over now. Wait! Why do you want him to meow? What the fuck? Are they part cat? Are they? Part cat. He just walks into a locker and is like, Are they part fucking cat? <laughs> He's just so bewildered. He's like, Wait! He walks into a locker, closes it. Are swoops part cat? <laughs> the wings of night. Like but you part. called him Sir Swoop. Uh, shush. Oh, okay. we are we are ranked eleven. Okay, cool. So we're about to get into the big leagues, but we have all of them except the Wings of Night. I guess we should do a, an exhibition match against the Wings of Night. You know, I never did that actually. That's kind of cool that you could do that. You didn't think about it. <clears throat> no, I didn't. Because <clears throat> I don't think we've seen those bats yet. No, we have not. Although it is a fantastic idea, because we don't see those until a certain point in the game, and that's rough. The sleepy stealth yeah. sight. Teach me, old master. What? <laughs> Get yourselves ready to battle! Because he just started hey, at the bottom of the ladder. I'm rank 11. I'm about to move up to the, the big leagues. Why the fuck did you call me mast anyway? <clears throat> <clears throat> Super, that's what they're called. Our fucking Super Spark Cat? That's a swooper. I bet they call it that because of the way they it swoops around. Wow, that's some awesome naming 
teamwork. Seriously, pure naming genius. So anyway, HP six, attack three, defense zero. It says here it hangs from the ceiling. If you could just damage it, it ought to drop from the ceiling. Then you could whack it. Cool. Bitch. You what? Yeah, they do that, even without the item. I think. Do they? <laughs> I like how I don't- No, I think there's a different enemy that does that. Anyways. What do you mean I failed that? Heck, get fucked. <laughs> Damn. I was rooting for that. That's power bounce. That was impressive. That, my good friend, is what I call overkill, bitch. <laughs> no kidding. Do I have power bounce? I don't know. I don't I think I do. I don't think so. Nice. Oh, fuck you, game. Honestly, I can't do that stylish move for Goombella's multi-bounce. It's so hard to do. All of Goombella's, except for Tattle, are a pain in the ass. Well, good news! Level up! Don't even Level need to waste up. the time napping. Alright. Alright, Gonzalez, pick your poison. Not surprised. <laughs> Most of the time it's either gonna be BP or FP. There. The Great Gonzalez is our winner! <clears throat> yes. Also, the instant card order is here, so I'm gonna go take care of that. Here's your fight money of four coins, Mr. Gonzalez. Damn, only four? <laughs> God damn. We are, like, one fight away from Major Leaguers! And now I gotta stretch! <laughs> <clears throat> But that's okay, because stretching is good for your body. A lesson that I learned very recently. <laughs> Don't forget the stretch. Honestly, though. Like, <clears throat> I didn't think to fight those guys. Damn, I should have done that, because they gave so many star points. Well, shit. Well, Vincent found the cheat code for that. That's sh that is a stretch. Thank you. It is a stretch. Listen, the weirder the sound is, the better the stretch is. That's the rules. You ever just had like a really good stretch that uh, you just make a strange sound? <laughs> I feel like the weirder the sound, the weirder the sound, the better it is. You know I'm right. You get that stretch that hits different. Sometimes I like stretch like a cat. Like I'll just like, like, like stretch my arms out and like stretch my back out like this, <laughs> like over like a table or something. It is strangely cathartic. I recommend you do it. Is it weird? Yes. Does it feel good? Fuck yes. <laughs> S tier stretch. Heavily recommend it. Also, I gotta do more leg stretches now. Because I kind of hurt my leg a little. <laughs> you use a table? Well, not all the time. Just like, if there's like one near me. Honestly, I'll just like... I'll just like stretch like my back up myself. Alright!
Alright, so I guess I'll take over the stream for like the next 10 minutes. Alright. Alright. <laughs> what else can I teach? I am not a yoga instructor. I am not strange enough for it. But, <laughs> what I can tell you, for a fact, is that... Did you know? <laughs> Yoga with- and you do not want me to teach yoga. Oh my god. No, Vincent, you just want to see me in yoga pants. That's all it is. I know you. <laughs> Did you know? <laughs> I called you out. I exposed you live on stream. How does that make you feel? <laughs> Did you know that if you do not drink enough water and stretch enough, <laughs> you will get a Charlie horse. I, I learned that two nights ago. It wasn't fun. That shit hurt. Anyways, yes. Uh, shout out to Cloud for making me drink a lot of water this stream. <laughs> because I'm starting to think I needed that. Lord Almighty. So yes, strength, drink, strength. <laughs> Why did I say strength? <laughs> strength your water and 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 meet your vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> and also do schmoga and 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 and, and stretch your your muscles. Make sure you're limber as hell. Water and water Don't and let water, the water, 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 <laughs> Damn it! Water, okay. Water, 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 you got a horse water, named Charlie. Yes, I have a horse. Her name is Charlie Morningstar. Alrighty. Okay then. Well then, I have now been moistened. <clears throat> I have no idea if that alert is still going because I can't hear shit. So, I did a I did a sip though. I did a nice sip of water, a nice sippity doo da, if you will. So, that's good. Nice and good. I thought I heard something. Anyways. <laughs> Vincent actually just teleported into the room behind me. <laughs> oh shit! How did he get here? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Good grief. Oh god. The that night, like, that night my leg was hurting though. Like, that was the worst sleep in the world. Because <laughs> it got cut short. <laughs> But you know what? You know, you preserve and you drink a cup of coffee for the stream this morning. So you get a horse if you don't drink or stretch. Fucking... <laughs> I don't- I don't think that's how- I don't think that's how that works. But, you know, I, I'm not- so, I'm no doctor. So my only question is, is why is it called a, a Charlie horse? I don't know. That's a good question. Hey Siri! <laughs> why is it called a Charlie horse? Here's what I found on the web for Charlie Horse. Often in the 1800s, old workhorses kept on the grounds of ballparks were called Charlie. The movements of the injured, stiff-legged ballplayers were likened to the lab or plodding of these old horses, and the injury itself eventually became known as a Charlie or Charlie Horse. Tim Considine wrote in 1982's The Language of Sport. This is from mentalfloss.com. Outstanding, anyways. Now, son, in this battle, be sure to use a partner skill at least once. Well, that's easy. I have tattling to do. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The crowd loves a tag team, and they just want to see your partner show their stuff, too. Now get in there and put your partner to work. Well, that'll be easy. <laughs> Match time. Follow me, bub. So I assume you slept okay last night. Oh, absolutely. Slept fucking miles better compared to the night before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
And now, today's main event, the Major League awaits the 11th ranked Great Gonzalez. But only if he can beat the 10th ranked powerhouses, the Iron Adonis Twins. First, let's get the merciless executioner in here, folks. The Great Gonzalez! Gonzalez, kick their tails. Don't you dare lose. Love that mustache. No, we're getting fans of our own, eh? Yes. Hooey! The Great Gonzalez, how you feeling? Just perfect, thanks. Doing pretty damn well, if I say so myself. Whoa, Nelly! You heard the fella, folks. He's obviously itching to mix it up some. Whoa. Good gravy, iron him out. Whoa, are spikes legal? <laughs> Probably not. Well, I don't know, the pokies can fight. <laughs> Your challenger is a real confident, boys. Yep, he's talking trash. Sir? Iron Adonis twins, he said. More like paper dog face bros, and they stink. Yeah. <laughs> and then he said, I bet they just play video games and cry when they lose. Why are you riling them up? Oh, yeah, and then he said, Howdy belly buttons must run in their family, stink wads. And so on, yep. What? How does he know my mom has an Audi? That jerk. Yeah, we're gonna you blend you up into a smoothie, that. pal, and then we're gonna drink ya. Oh, and one more thing. Only smelly stink wads call other people stink wads. Understand, stink wad? Simmer down, bro. You, stink wad, you're gonna regret opening your yap, pal. See these bods? Solid iron. See these spikes? Yeah, they penetrate any sub. Mm. Hey, so basically yo. what I'm telling you is that whatever you try will be completely useless. Think Fucking A, hey, yo, bro! <laughs> In the very short time you have left with a functional brain. Get yourselves ready to battle! I got that one in my soul. We're gonna do it! We make the Major League if we win. Get psyched, Mario! <laughs> Give up now. Well, Stinkwads, you're about to learn about our skills the hard way. Use partner move at least once. I recommend toddling first. You're gonna want to hear this. That's an iron clip. That guy is scary, period. Come again? Well, shit. This looks rough. Max HP 6, attack 4, and defense is... unknown? What's with this book? It says no attack will work against Iron Clefts! It says nothing in the world is as hard as an Iron Clef, so its defense is impenetrable! If that's true, the only way to beat one is to whack it with the other one. Running away may not be a bad idea at this point. I have to tattle both of them? Oh. Individually? I forgot about that. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. Um. Grubba, why the fuck did you rile them up? Detroit defense? <laughs> Gumbella, take them. You have more HP. She does, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. That's an iron clef. The green shoes mean this one must be the younger brother. HP 6, attack 4, and defense is unknown. Nothing's gonna work. Defense is impenetrable. Running away might not be a bad idea at this point. Absolutely not. Mario, why did you put me in front? I got scared, okay? <laughs> Koops is like, we're gonna die out here. <laughs> Mario's marching us to our graves. <laughs> Flurry's like, huh? <laughs> Consider this. We can talk him out of this. If nothing in Coops this like, world, shut the fuck up. If nothing in this world can beat them, we need something otherworldly. Taste the crystal stars, bitch. Uh 
Ha. Hey, Mario! Remember when I said running away is not a bad idea at this point? <laughs> Fuck. Um... Well... It's worth a shot. Uh, dearie, we might have a problem. Well, well then, this sucks. <laughs> We got ourselves a winner, the Iron Adonis Twins! <laughs> How'd you like that? We tried to tell you, but no. If you want another piece of pummel pie, have a bath and come on back, punk. Well, that sucked. Here's one your fight coin. money. One coin, Mr. Gonzalez. <laughs> Damn. Your rank will remain at 11 because you lost the match. Rub it in, why don't you? Now, if you'll excuse me. I must be going. Oh, mercy me, Mario! That adorable little egg seems to have disappeared! Where could that little eggy waggy have gone? Yeah! Yeah, you voice him. <laughs> it's pink! Gonzalez! Check me out. Thanks to you, I hatched safe and sound. Thanks, man! Why, you little rapscallion! You hatched from that egg! Well, aren't you precious? Yeah, but who cares? You guys want to be champs, right? You want a crystal star? Anyway, I gotta repay you for saving me from old Hoggle out there, so I'll fight for you. I can hold my own. I'll swallow any opponent whole, honest. Just leave it to me. Huh? Oh, my damn. name? Let's see... Uh, I just came out of that egg, so I guess I don't have a name yet. You seem but fired you up can about talk? It, so <laughs> why don't you give me one? Make it cool, okay? You can walk?! What the fuck are you? Alright, name the Yoshi. Oh yeah, because you named my Yoshi in my playthrough. What okay. did I name your Yoshi again? I forget. Uh, You named him Nico, and uh, I That's can right. only think of one name because it's immensely appropriate considering the past conversation I had and my PFP. So, uh, yeah, this little fella's name is Charlie. All right, Charlie. Hmm, Charlie, huh? Not too bad, dude. Not too bad at all. Yeah, I like it. Okay, Gonzalez, let's get out there and do some damage. Yoshi's now your friend. He'll answer to Charlie. Yay! Yoshi's I have abilities. A son. <laughs> a prime. My son. Press X to ride Yoshi. Ride me to victory! <laughs> you move much faster while riding Yoshi. Try moving around with left stick. He actually does move a lot faster. It'll be nice when we are running around Rogue Port. While jumping, press A to hold... Oh, bleh. While jumping, hold A to float through the air for a brief time. Use this ability to cross otherwise impossible gaps. You can stop riding Yoshi by pressing X. Excludes the primer. Got it. I have a son! In battle, he can repeatedly <laughs> bounce on enemies using his ground pound move, or use gulp to inhale enemies whole and spit them out for massive damage. That's gonna be helpful. Alright, so what are all of the possible colors? Um, all the Yoshi colors, so I think there's, there's, there's green, there's blue, there's red, there's pink as you can see, there's yellow, and there's black. If I remember correctly, there okay. might be more. I have to look that up. <laughs> what but, determines um, the colors? I think it depends on how long you are on a specific chapter. I, re I if I remember correctly, but it's been years since I looked this up. Um. I c so yeah, I, I might have to look that up on my own time. Got a tinkle. <laughs> I wonder why.
Yoshi. Hey, Mr. Porker. I hatched that Yoshi egg. Yes. Yes. Sure. Nah. Oh god, Xenoblade. Xenoblade is a series. It is my favorite. It is one that has to have been read. It was written by a guy way back in the 90s. Because it was just the bee's knees. Uh, so basically, the Xeno franchise came from uh, uh, Tetsuya Takahashi's ideas for Final Fantasy VII. That got rejected. And that eventually became Xeno Gears. And then when he splintered off from Square and made his own company, that company was bought by Bandai Namco. They made Xeno Saga. And then Monolith Soft was bought uh, by Nintendo, and they made Xenoblade. Okay. Makes sense why I got rejected. What do you mean? Also, was the sync okay? Because I haven't done a song in a while. And, you know, the, the, the sink likes to break sometimes. It was fine. Okay, cool. You're a pretty, a pretty big Xenoblade hater. Okay. I feel like I know the answer to this. Have you played the games? Any of them? I know it's a big ask. <laughs> because they are long games. You 100% did the first one. Okay. So you have a pretty good idea of the first one. Hey, Gonzalez, how's it going? Well, you do not want to play any others based on your experience. So here's the thing. Each game, while the gameplay, like, takes the first game and, like, uh, like, splinters off from that, as far as the story is concerned, each game is effectively its own thing. You also beat X. See, X is the only one I haven't beat. Like, I have it. Somewhere. Where Where are my Wii U games? It's over there. Um. You like X more than one. Okay. What is it about X that you like more than one? Music, gameplay, story. Okay. So, the music in X is a very different case because it was composed by Hiroyuki Sawano. Um, the world exploration and world building um, 
Sure, oh, Vinny really likes the numbered games. Uh, the world exploration and the um, uh, 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 world building is like very different. Like, there's a lot more focus on the exploration in X than the other games. I'm not trying to explain music. That's why I said the name and then moved on. Because <laughs> I know that if I say Hiroyuki Sawano, you know exactly what I mean. <laughs> but like, there's one song from X in 2, because uh, Elma makes an appearance as a, um optional party member in the DLC. Now, did you like the story of one? That's the question. No. Okay. It, it's just a little, like, confusing to me that you said you like X's story more, because that has the weakest main story. It, ha it has a lot better side quests than most of the rest of the series. But... Um, as far as main story goes, that's widely considered the weakest of the bunch. Because for X, they put a lot more focus on the exploration than telling, the, like, a, a structured narrative, like, uh, like most JRPGs. And honestly, it is astounding that they made that work on the Wii U. <laughs> Hello. Like, I don't understand how they made that shit work on the Wii U. I used the bathroom, got some new water, and had a snack. I'm good to go. Outstanding. We're talking- The man in a toilet! <laughs> they say, there's a room in the glitz pits with a second floor with no stairs. They say no one has ever gone upstairs. Some say the groaning voices are, uh, sometimes come from that second floor. They say that the champion's room is haunted. Why are you playing this on Frogan 2 yet? What? On um, what? Is that something going on in, in the server? Ish. I know nothing about this! Are you... Frogan 2. I don't know what Frogan is. Uh, neither do I. Nice. <laughs> do you mean Fro Frogan Encore? Yeah, okay. That looks like a... That actually looks really cool. It's a, a collectathon. Oh. Interesting. <clears throat> Pika and you loved the first one. The, um... That extender ability that the, the trailer uses to, like, bring themselves towards a wall reminds me of Chameleon Twist, so it is no surprise that you guys love it. Anyway, I was just reading some of the mysteries to, um, to kill time until you oh, got back. hello. So you're telling me you have no idea who got inside? What do we pay you for? <laughs> Mom, please, sorry, Miss Julian. I heard a noise in there, but I couldn't find nothing. Hmm. Fine. Leave the rest of this matter to me. Go back to your post. And listen to me carefully. Do not ever tell anyone of this or I'll have your job. Well, shit. A bit fucking late for that, uh... Don't fire him. You, Mr. Gonzalez, this is highly inappropriate. What business do you have here? I was on my way back to the locker I'm room. Lady, I was literally just walking. Please, I must ask you to stay out of places where you have no business being. I'm literally fucking walking, okay? 
You both claimed you liked Frogun before we both knew of the love of Chameleon Twist. Outstanding. That's actually really funny. But, um, yeah, I still have Chameleon Twist sitting on the shelf. I just, I have, I want to get through all of the games I've already started before I start something new. Grubba, don't start the pod this time, you dumbass! Oh, he will. <laughs> Use a partner skill at least once. Okay, so that stayed the same. I have a feeling it doesn't always. No, it doesn't always stay the same. I'm actually surprised it stayed the same. This one is probably scripted and not random like the others. Alright. Just because it's the introductory battle for the Yoshi. Like, unless you go and leave Glitzville. Which I'm not even sure you can do. I didn't try. I'll fight to the finish with the Iron Adonis Twins! You think you could take me and Gonzalez? Ha! Those ultra hard bots just can't lose. Hey, yo! Get ready to battle! I don't want to hear about your ultra hard bots. Let me get him. We're gonna take these punks this time. <laughs> Sinkwa's challenging us again. He never learns. Looks like he brought some new shrimpy partner. As if that's gonna help him. Well. Okay, kid, show me what you got. Press the ZR and release when the thing lights up. I just guessed. You, ouch, you spiked me right in the... Oh. That hey, really yo! Hurt. Our iron bodies and pointy nastiness are being used against us. No fair. Oh, dang, bro. Has he discovered our weak points? Fellas, I believe in the three-strike rule. Okay? That was your third day, yo. Do you have something you have to tell us? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have to keep Mario alive. Shall we go for the hot dog? No. Or the mushroom roast? Full heal on everything. Alright. Good thing they only have a, a handful of HP. Oh, absolutely. Because if this went on any longer, I would get annoyed. Oh, yeah. Alright, we did it. No, seriously, do you have anything you have to tell us? <laughs> I mean, I won't judge. Do we have to go back to the minor league now, bro? I think I'm gonna be sick. Sucks for you. Congratulations, Great Gonzalez! With this win, you've just made it to the major league! Now that... Folks, was what I call a wild and wooly fight. A diggity dang doozy. Keep it up, kid. You're going places, I can tell. Hooey! Come on, folks. Give it up. We got a new major leaguer. Let's hear it for him! Alright, cool. Wonderful. I got fucking clout! <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Here's your fight money of 14 coins, Mr. Gonzalez. Cool. Mars ranking rose to 10. Your rank went up because you met the conditions. And Mr. Gonzalez, Mr. Grubbo wishes to see you in his office. Follow me. Oh, God. Oh, he's... <laughs> that he, fucking voice. He's mad. He didn't want me to win, but he didn't tell me. What? Oh, hello. Vance was looking at porn at his <laughs> fucking desk. <laughs> Mr. Grubba. I brought Mr. Gonzalez as he requested. B -b -b Miss, Miss Jolene, mind your manners now! We knock around here, Missy! Catch me looking at a playboy. I apologize, Mr. Grubba. 
Don't you worry, your pretty little head about none. Now, what I want again? Something about Gonzalez. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. Gonzalez, you old so and so. Let me congratulate your son. Major League already, huh? I had a feeling you were going places, and dang, I love when I'm right. You just keep on putting tuckuses in them seats. I'm counting on you, son. I got a special little something, something for you. Go on, take it. 30 coins, nice. So, yeah, something else has been on my mind. Your costume ain't cool. This is my fucking overall. No big deal, son. But hey, someday if you become champ, I'll get you a new one. It's literally something hot pink. Maybe something with some frills. You'll look a sight, son. If you dress me like Peach, I'm going to hammer your fucking skull open. <laughs> anyway, that's something for another day, Pard. Take a powder, okay? Don't you dare fucking dress me like Peach. Mr. Gonzalez, please follow me if you would. <laughs> what the Sweet fuck, God. <laughs> I swear all these fighters have shit they gotta tell me. Anyways. <laughs> this is the Major League Locker Room. You will use this room from this moment on. The match system is the same as the Minor League, but the bouts are harder. Try not to get completely destroyed out there, okay, Mr. Gonzalez? Well, if you'll excuse me, I must be going now. I'm going to pretend I didn't see what Grubba was do- Hey! Not bad! What's the deal? Would it kill these guys to show a little friendliness? Sheesh. Tough crowd. Oh, it's him. That is- Stilly guy coming through. Listen up, losers. I've been hearing about some rising star tearing up the league. What's good? It's you, isn't it, brother? Yeah, you fit the bill, skinny. A mustache named Gonzalez. Man, what the I come fuck all the way up keep over saying here I'm for skinny. you. <laughs> what a waste of time, brother. Huh. I don't like how that looks. What's your deal, Gonzalez, huh? Oh, the champ's belt? There's something suspect about it. What in the hey, you get too close to the hawk, and you might be rocked. Not sure, but it definitely looks weird. I think you're right, Gonzalez. Fake. Hey, you think you could just smack talk the rock hog die? I don't think so. It's fake! You got just some like guts it's calling my belt a fake. <laughs> you sure it be no belt having wimps. Didn't your mama teach you any manners? It's fake! Oh, sorry, just yellow like dude. You, I didn't bitch. mean to rip on your big bad belt. Stop making fun of me, punk. You're alive only because we ain't in the ring right now. If I see you under those lights, I'll tear you apart. Remember, the rock. Okay, whatever you say, loser. Wow, I really pushed that dude's buttons, huh? I can't believe he threatened the child. <laughs> well, for, yeah, honestly. Well, forget him. We got a problem. Your map pointed to Glitzville, right? That dude's belt has a fake crystal star on it. And where the heck where is the, the real one at? Where the fuck is the real one? Gonzalez, it, is that your mailbox SP going off? Who'd you get an email from? I don't know, but I have to go to World 6, I guess. If you want the crystal star, heed my instructions. Who the heck is this ex dude? He talks like he's the man to see about that crystal star. Why would he want to help us out though? This whole deal seems kind of whack. Gonzalez, even if the belt's a fake, I think we should try to take the championship anyway. It's the best way to find out what's really going on here in the glitz pit. I need to use the bathroom. <laughs> Occupied. Oh shit! Sorry! Useful. Make sure you have room. Useful! Just stealing everybody's shit. Uh. I miss my friends! What if he just goes into the fucking lockers and just says what he's says out loud how he's feeling and he thinks no one's talking but literally everyone hears his voice echoing in the and echoing Honestly. in the thing like I wonder what everyone else is up to. 
You're pretty tough, baby, but you're really gonna have to power up to win here. Destroy the soul before you! That is the only concern of a true warrior! <laughs> For God's sake! Hey, where'd you get that hammer? You're biting my style. I'm the hammer guy. You're I'm still hard, literally Nick. Super Mario. I'll be the champ someday, you bet. Uh-huh, that's right. Just like the big legendary champ, Prince Mush. And asleep. <laughs> I sleep. Real shit. <laughs> Why is that not funny? <laughs> Mari. <laughs> Uh, fucking, uh, Mario. Uh, we got a new fight coming up, I sleep. <laughs> There's a new hot dog being for sale! Real shit! <laughs> <laughs> Avoid using any items! Empty them pockets! Real men don't need no trinkets when helping hand. Bad. Bleh. Okay. <laughs> well then. Mr. Gonzalez, please get off of the fucking table. <laughs> <laughs> I was practicing I my jumping. You? Don't worry, I'm ready now. I just have to limber up. I'm not as high as compared to my brother. I had to make sure. Oh shit, I... Mm. Mm. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and... The Thorny Demons. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Tiny Spinies. You know what I forgot to do? What? Switch to Goombella. Hello, Take Darkness, you can take me in, Gonzalez. <laughs> Wee, it's gonna be fun poking at you. Get yourselves ready to battle! Hmm. Don't use items, that's easy enough. Outside of tattling, she's useless for this fight. She sure is. <laughs> That's a red spike top. It's the most well protected of the buzzy beetle species. HP 5, attack 3, defense is 4. Yup, this guy is hard. Don't you dare clip that. It has really high defense, and fire and explosions won't hurt it at all. <laughs> Your intrusive thoughts are <laughs> intrusive thinking. And that spike, what a pain! There's gotta be a way to flip it over. <laughs> Ow. Oh dear. I love how even the x knots come here for entertaining. <laughs> Listen, they like to see a good, good fight, you know? Oh, they're just here to throw rocks at us. DICKS! Kinda, yeah. <laughs> it's always the x knots too. Mm hmm I don't think that's working. Yeah, that works. Alright, this is starting to hurt. Get the fuck out! <laughs> Rest in peace. I'm so proud of you, my son. <laughs> <laughs> we got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez! <laughs> How that floor taste? He's a goblin just like his old man, I'm so proud. <laughs> <laughs> and here's your fight money and 15 coins. For rank 9. Your rank went up because you met the conditions. Now if you'll excuse me, I must be going. 
Oh, she hates this place too, huh? <laughs> yeah. Maybe she just I hates me. <laughs> Either that or she hates her job. I guess. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fixing for a fight, huh? Okay, then. Your next opponent will be ranked A. The Poker Faces. Now, I want you to use at least one special move, okay? The crowd needs something flashy. Catch my drift? Now get out there and blow the roof off, son. Switch to Gumbella. Switch to Gumbella. Trust me, you want to do that. Let there be hot dogs! He just wolfs down the hot dogs before the match. <laughs> it's always is on the table so again. <laughs> Fucking why is <laughs> that so funny? <laughs> he realized he forgot the rest and he's like, shit! <laughs> and then just yells, let there be hot dogs and whoops them down before the fight. Forza of Horizon 4 is being delisted soon. Currently it's on sale for $12 on Steam and $20 for the Ultimate Edition, if anyone is interested. I am mildly interested, but I do not have the money right now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You're gonna be cool, saw kid. And that ain't good. Get yourselves ready to battle! Are you sure we don't have the title for this? I feel like we saw them already. Did we? In chapter one in the in the fortress? Oh shit, you're right. For, fucking, I'm mixing up like the actual like... Because like, you fight like different versions of them later on. It's fine. Fuck him up. When does it get delisted? Oh. Well, shit, that was underwhelming. I deserve it. Where's the Yoshi kid? Actually, can the Yoshi do anything about that? I don't know. One way to find out. <clears throat> uh, yeah, it's better that I appeal. Because if I go to hammer, he's going to get hit. Because they have the extendo spikes on the sides. We can figure it out after stream. I need to hype up the crowd! Brother, he's toying with us. He's just fucking with the crowd. Yay! Thank you! You see, this is what happens when you hype up the crowd. They give you free shit! You have a lot of dizzy titles, by the way. Yeah. <clears throat> and this Goombella is what we call Overkill. What now, fuck faces? We got ourselves a winner, the great Gonzalez! What'd you expect? <laughs> Here's your fight money of 16 coins. Brilliant. Alright, let's right. sleep this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never mind, oh. let's get an email. Whoa, Mario, that's another email, right? Go to the watering hole outside the glitz pit. Okay, but let me sleep first. It's from that X guy, the watering hole. What do you mean by that? The, the big fountain? 
Was there not a fountain outside somewhere? Oh, maybe uh, the juice thing. Well, let's go check it out. Oh, we got a poster! <laughs> Dude, oh yeah, we did. Nice. Holy Probably shit, only I because got merch. we're in the top uh, ten. It's probably the juice place, because now that I think about it, I'm full of shit. There is no fountain out here. The lady's gone. Oh, you're Mr. Gonzalez. Yeah, that's the mustache I've been waiting for. Actually, you're pretty late. Somebody left a package and a note by the door a bit ago. They'd look for a thick stash man named Gonzalez and give him this. And this is this. Super Hammer! Ooh. Hi, Toret. Hi, it's me again, Toret. It's so nice to see you again, Mario. Congratulations on getting that Super Hammer. Now can you use this wicked cool new technique. Let's get to practicing it. It's a little hard, but I'm sure you'll get it. Hold down B and rotate until your body twists up. Then release B to reform your super hammer technique. Oh no. The key is to rotate a lot before pressing B. Release B! My fucking spine! Okay. Basically. <laughs> Excellent, Mario! You are so awesome. Are you clear? Cool. You've mastered the super hammer! With the super hammer move, you can even break big blocks like this! Oh gee, I almost forgot. You can use the super hammer in battle. Plus, your attack is boosted too! Excuse me. Sweet. So far as I can tell. That hammer's a new model. The Hammer Whack 2005. Hammer Real Whack. Real nice hammer all around. Solid craftsmanship. Good grip. High bunk ability. Commercials for this thing say that the hammer I get catch people used. lacking when they're horny on the main. They aren't, <laughs> they aren't cheap either, so whoever gave this to you must be a big fan. Why leave it in this juice shop? Isn't that up? I mean, it's not that hard to hand a gift to a pro fighter. It's all this email time. Hello? Smash the blockade in the locker room. Blockade in the locker room, huh? I wonder what's behind it. Are we just allowed to go back into the old locker room? Uh, Let's give it a whirl. Uh, given that Rockhawk was able to come into the Major League and not locked to just the Champions Room tells me, yeah, we probably can. No. <laughs> hmm. That's that's odd. Interesting. Oh wow. Hey, it's Mr. Stinkwad. What are you doing here? You want to fight outside the ring? I'll give you a fight, you big jerk. Don't waste your breath. You Hello. Spin me right around, baby, right around, like a rick. Baby, round, round, round. Did I not charge up enough? No. It's part of the environment. Ah, I see. Set of documents dubious that go into documents. detail about a lot of important stuff. Boy, these documents look dubious. Whoa, Gonzalez, that's some kind of scientific paper on the crystal stars. Who'd be investigating those things besides us? They even took pictures. Oh, it was fake, but the real star's gotta be here somewhere. Who'd leave something like this lying around? This just reeks of funny business. Well, that's fucking weird. You again. Mr. Gonzalez, what are you doing in here? This is the minor league locker room. Major league athletes are forbidden. 
Even if they weren't, it's hardly appropriate to bash down our walls. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, you look very pretty today. I'll just be confiscating this. Thank you very much. Shit. Uh oh. Dang, what's with her? We busted our humps getting that information. These people just gotta rain on our parades. Well, at least we know the Crystal Star's here. Note how she didn't drag us out. Hmm. But I assume now he won't let us in. My bladder has shrunk it. How rude. Possible. Hmm. Hmm. Are you still occupied? Of course you are. I guess the only thing to do now is, like, fight. Well, boy, Hattie. The shell shock is. When before you take 20 HP of pain. Okay. Gonzalez and the Turtles of Hurdle, yep, a fight to the finish with the Shell Shockers. We aren't gonna lose the likes of you. So called Great Gonzalez, don't think I'm gonna take it easy on you, baby. Let's get ready to rumble! Shady Koopa with wings. Max HP 8, attack 3, defense 1. Knock off its wings and it's a Shady Koopa. Like typical Koopas and Paratroopas, it, its attack jumps when it flips up off its back. This also says it has a move that hits you and your partner at once. Is that possible? Uh, I guess the best thing to do is just beat it quickly after we flip it. Ow. Fuck me, dude. 12, 13, 14. Yep. Why don't he wrap the hammer in barbed wire and put spikes on it? Good question. He probably also wants to make sure he doesn't get hurt. Will this work on you? Oh god, my brain does not like that. Dear Bladder, do not shrink again. Thank you. We're in a bit of a sticky wicket. No, no shit. That's a shady Koopa. It's yet another member of the Koopa family tree. HP 8, attack 3, defense 1. Yeah, that looks rough. The difference between them and the other Koopas? They can attack from their backs. That's not all. While they're while they're on their backs, their attack their attack gets boosted, and they use a terrifying technique. 
Cloud, I hate you. <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty tricky. This chat, this fucking chapter is going to take extra long because, <laughs> because of fucking Cloud. My bladder is already shrunk. Let's go. Let's go. That was a perfect time too. I think I've taken like 14 damage though, and I oh, have a limit of 20. Seen 17. Yeah, there's gonna be a problem. Uh, it's not gonna get me all the way there. Switch to Charlie. Why Charlie? Because Mario can flip and Charlie can ground pound. Unless... Counter argument. Blow them away. Alright, we could try that. Oh shit, I have made a terrible mistake. Yeah. Mm. Oh, and it was before taking 20 HP! Oh, you got set up for that. Ugh. Like I said, there's always a chance you're gonna have a bad matchup when it comes to these things. Yeah, nope. I'll take that. Here's one! <laughs> that shouldn't have been as funny as I was. Didn't get me out of danger, though. Nice! I don't know if that's enough, though. Nope. No, it wasn't. I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. Flurry, I'm gonna fucking die! <laughs> actually, Cloud, it is actually- it's genuinely your fault. I'm going to have a stroke! I got it, sweetie. Fuck! I don't like those guys! <laughs> We're gonna have to try that again. We won, but, uh... Oof. Thanks. Yeah, I know. Do you want to get, like, a heavy-hitting item just to be safe? Well, no, now that I'm tattled, I could just spend a turn or two appealing. And then just Earth Tremor and instantly kill all of them. Do they have- do they have more than 6 HP, though? They have exactly 6 HP. Oh, cool. I think. Okay, then. <laughs> well, we'll see. They have eight. Okay. Still, I can work with that. It's probably gonna give you a different thing now. The shell shockers. I want you to avoid swapping partners out. <laughs> or I could just blow them away again. I can't fucking win. Gotta go with whoever brung you. Fight to the end, side by side. No, that's drama. <sighs> I can't fucking win, can I? Well, no, because this one is easy. This is just blow them away with Flurry now that they've been tattled. And if it takes me a few tries, so be it. Don't swap partners. But yeah. 
Sayonara. Only one of them? One! one. <laughs> oh shit. Oh no, it has a dizzy tile! <laughs> ah, crap, Eskits. Oh god, why do I see four of you? <laughs> well, shit! Well, my brain is a slushy. <laughs> it missed, and I still was able to do the stylish. That's funny. Oh, yeah, you're always able to do the stylish, no matter what. <laughs> Bye, bitch. Did I win? <laughs> Fuck it, we'll just kill him. Oh! So what you're telling me is I could have used that against the uh, rock guys. What do you mean I that mean... only did? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. We got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez. Anytime you care for another lesson, we'll be here. Gonzalez, brother. Oh no, it's the those guys. I thought it was Rockhawk. Whoa, Nelly! I don't believe my eyes, folks. The Iron Adonis twins are in a rage. You're allowing this? You made us look like suckers the other day. Now you're gonna pay for it. It's WWE. Uh, a little tired from your match, great stinkwad. Too bad. Prepare for pain. Well, shit, I have Do no I still FP. not have the ability to switch partners? Okay, oh, no, no this, is, this is fine. I mean, either way. Oh. Oh, you dick. Goody. Charlie. <laughs> Charlie, be a deer. Fucking ow! Go the fuck away! <laughs> Guess when you have clout, you have haters. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. Thank you, clout. No, 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 no. I would heal. Nah, we'll just kill. No, that already. I know that doesn't work. <laughs> I almost... I almost did it. What are you doing? Overkill. <laughs> I love how you... Ha how we had... Sweet treat. This whole time that thing takes one star power, <laughs> you, you went with the ultra true? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm afraid that's permanently ingrained into my mind now, so <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I don't want to talk about it. Alright, chat, am I allowed to backseat game him a little more? Because this is getting. <laughs> this shit just got rough.
Slurp. Listen, Cloud. <laughs> you have been watching me long enough that you should know that I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> Listen, I didn't want a backseat game. I wasn't gonna say anything. <laughs> until he- Until he clicked on the Ultra Shroom. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> there must be a limit, apparently. Uh, we lost. After all that, we reek. <laughs> Holy! That's our great Gonzalez friends and neighbors! Kid, don't even blink when the Iron Adonis twins barge in and attack! Woo! Tough! He's too dang tough! Yeah, this kid is only bound for bigger things, folks! Until next time, everyone, see ya! That Dothra Shroom was delicious! <laughs> you should fight money of 17 coins, Mr. Gonzalez. I don't want Can to I get more? I, technically, I did two fight. Okay. Your rank went up because you met the conditions. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Email! Probably! I knew it! Gonzalez, another email? What now? Keep sticking your nose in where it doesn't belong, and you are dead meat. Man, are that dude sounds peeves. I'm thinking that isn't our ex, buddy. Who do you think would send something like that? Oh shit! I really do have haters now. That's crazy. <laughs> you gotta heal. Cool. <sighs> You gotta heal whatever that Ultra Shroom didn't cover. Well, here's the thing. I took damage after the Ultra Shroom. I know. I hope it was... <laughs> I'm sure it was worth it. Yes. <laughs> I like... I sounded like I was scolding you there. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. Listen, it was bound to happen. Hello. Por qué? Well, well, Mr. Mustache. You've made it to the Major League, have you? I'd keep a whisker tweaked, love. Something stinks here and it's not a ripe cheese. Call it a thief's intuition. Better safe than sorry, my sweet. I'm glad I'm not the only one who thinks something's wrong here. Oh, hello. What are you doing up there? Hey, I know you. I was just trying to think up a cool nickname for you. Let's see, how about the Mustachioed Pistachio? Hmm, flows a bit Pist too well. The fuck are you calling me a pistachio, bro? Sure. Oh, fuck off, dude. Girls of Wisdom. Stop sending links, folks, please and thank you. See, if it's if it's a link like YouTube or to a clip, maybe Twitter. Fine, sure, whatever. Okay, stop sending weird links, folks, please and thank but you. But when it's spam links to fucking view bots, like fuck off. Oh wow, a super shroom. That looks useful. <laughs> Listen. It's not ultra, but hey, you know, it works. Shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't get over it. I can't. Uh... Yeah? I didn't even know you could answer that. Oh yeah, I've been, I've been checking it occasionally. Oh, hey, you're back. I did not know. Watching you fight. You remind me of the first champion, Prince Mush. Very mysterious. I would love to meet this uh, Prince Mush character. Some. He also sounds mysterious. A little bit.
He is mush. Correct. Correct. Is the bathroom still occupied? Better fucking not be. God damn it. Oh shit! Are you having some diarrhea or something? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Bro, your asshole is done. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> It's gonna be rank six, the fuzz. Now listen, son of this paddle, I want you to stay in pad, okay? Do not do any damage at all. The crowd loves your partner, so let them do dividing instead. Okay, sure, why not? All right, uh, the fuzz. I know who it is, and uh, it's a bunch I can of fuzzies. recommend someone for you. It's a bunch of fuzzies, right? Yeah. Yeah. I would, too. I'm glad you stopped standing on the table, Gonzalez. <laughs> yeah, I didn't need to do my jump exercises today. <laughs> oh, I need Goombella. Those are new fuzzies. Eh. I mean, we could do that anyway. We can't take damage anyway. I'll fight to the finish with the fuzz! Mjork, Mjork, we'll suck up your souls, Mjork. Do not clip that. <laughs> but where in the can? What? Oh, there is somebody stuck in the bathroom. Bro, his asshole is done. How do I get more than a nice on that? That's a- uh, That's all you could do for that. Oh, that sucks. That's a green fuzzy. As you could see, it's a fuzzy and it's green! Duh! HP 5, attack 3, defense 0. <coughs> this is similar to a normal fuzzy, so it replenishes its own HP as it sucks out ours. Ew! That's just the grossest thing ever. If you don't find the idea gross, seriously, there's something wrong with you. You'd be surprised what their fucking kinks are, bro. The main difference between this and the other fuzzies is that this one multiplies. You know, I bet this thing would look great sitting next to a golden fuzzy. Like red Seriously, can I drink of what was in it. You'd be surprised what their kinks are. That means I can't super guard either. You bitch! Oh, you just found out what that one does. Well, you could appeal. That's a flower fuzzy. Wow, what a totally pretty fuzzy, don't you think? Touch fuzzy, get dizzy. HP 6, attack 3, defense 0. That thing attacks by boinging and sucking out FP. How uncool! We need FP! Once it charges up its own FP, it'll use magic attacks. Better beat it before it does. Oh, I just got it. It's a flower fuzzy because it sucks up your FP! Duh! <laughs> Suddenly, you're very airheaded anyways. Oh, you douche! <laughs> oh, oh, no! Ow. <laughs> Damn, you got a rough setup. You can't Mario can't do damage. Mm hmm Ah! Okay, Coops, how about a power push? Power, power boost. Oh my god. 
Even while defending, he still does so much damage. Oh my god! <laughs> Ow! It's gonna be a long fight. <laughs> okay. Now I can recover FP. And be okay. Damn it. I was really hopeful that I would, uh, get... I was hoping- Oh, I was hoping for that case, too. Hey, a Super Shroom! That looks useful. Both of us need it. Oh my it. god, which one do we give it, though? But Mario's more important, because I game over on Mario, yeah. not Koops. Yeah. <laughs> As a reminder, it is RNG which move they use. I'm going to fucking kill Grubba, what, what the hell? SOS Flurry Okay. <laughs> We have 69 at star points. Yeah. <laughs> I'M GONNA HAVE A FUCKING STROKE! <laughs> Mario's just mad stressed right now, you know that! OH MY GOD, STOP REPRODUCING! DO YOU FUCK LIKE RABBITS?! <laughs> Basically... <laughs> And I'm assuming that means I can't do stuff like the dizzy dial or anything. I mean, it just says don't damage, so I don't but know. That's still affecting them. <sighs> yeah. I swear to all that is holy. If I somehow don't end up with a level up after all this, I'm going to be very upset. Stop it! You're all disgusting! Oh my god! <laughs> uh... I'm going to go fucking crazy! I'm about to go sicko mode! Oh my god! <laughs> it's the perfect storm! <laughs> it's the storm of stress! <laughs> Uh, Mario, are you good? No, I'm not fucking good, and neither are you, and you know it. I literally sent my son into danger. Well, shit. You taste fuzzy. You watched the latest episode three days ago. Latest episode of what? The, the Pikmin Let's Play. Stop it! <laughs> it's like an affection! It's like a disease is spreading, but the disease is green fuzzies! Needs level grinding when you have a bajillion fucking fuzzies. <laughs> Honestly, oh my god, <laughs> Grubba fucking set us up, bro. That is rough. I'm going to fucking kill him. <laughs> All right, give me the next one. I know it's coming. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm a clairvoyant, bro! I'm a clairvoyant! Surely, surely, they will stop eventually. 
My son, if I don't make it out of this alive, I just want you to know, I think you need to find a better father. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh thank god. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the star points. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Oh my god, I had to take a screenshot of that shit. Oh my god, I've never seen that many star points. <laughs> Get the fuck out! Get the fuck out! You all are a disease! I'm now racist towards fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh... Get the fuck away from me! GET THE FUCK AWAY FROM ME! Recover your FP. Recover your FP. Do I have an item for that? Yes! You should! Okay, I do. That's the only reason I was using Sweet Treat. It's because I wasn't sure if I did or not. You have items, so check at least before you use it. Stacked. Oh my god. Oh, that was the only FP thing we had. Shit. Whoa, shit. Oh, thank god. I'm going to fucking kill Grubba. 72 <laughs> star points! Oh my god! Uh, 72 uh, star points! Uh, editor! Editor, I don't fucking- Luna. What was your name again? I, Luna, oh my god, keep that entire fight in. Keep that shit in. I want everyone to know what this was like. And everyone needs to know. I'm going to kill every fuzzy I fucking see from now on. You're all disease. We got ourselves a winner, the great Gonzalez. Holy shit! No wonder you all are in the major leagues. I'm Holy going shit! To rip off your blackface ass lips with a knife, cut open your goddamn gut, <laughs> shove it in there. And you sew your guts shut. <laughs> and don't get me started on you. Oh, that was no fuss whatsoever. I have short term memory loss. <laughs> <laughs> that is not worth 18 coins. That is not worth 18 coins. <laughs> <laughs> I I Oh my god <laughs> I don't want cake right now Celine brought you a piece of cake from the fair I guess I only f I fear nothing but that that scares me it's a picture of a green foot <laughs> Eat the cake <laughs> Oh my god, I have- <laughs> Didn't need it, I just gotta fucking level up! <laughs> I have to pee. <laughs> Your rankings. Alright, one more and we get into the top five. So, I, I guess we should do the one more to get to the top five and then we'll, we can call it a day.
I also need to pee. So give me one moment. This has been such a long fucking chapter, dude. You know, it just dawned on me. What? Like, literally in the first couple of- First couple of fucking, uh, turns. I literally shouted, help, flurry. And you went with fucking Charlie. So what I'm trying to say is, I've had enough. I'm backseat. I'm gonna- I'm gonna fucking <laughs> nag you, because I've had enough. <laughs> Don't worry. We have one more fight, and then we're- we're calling it for the day. Because that puts us in the top five, which feels like a good stopping place for the day. No, I I'm- we should fight. be more than halfway, Cloud. What do you mean? Am but, I missing uh, something? That feels like, uh... A good place to, to call it for the day. I mean, most we got left is, like, investigating. Which is, honestly, pretty quick compared to the fights. Yeah, just give me your fucking hot oh, dogs. You goddamn... <laughs> I don't even remember the word. <laughs> what, what's, what's the word? Give, cannibal. Ca cannibal. Kicked out and have to recloud. Cloud, don't even fucking, don't even make that joke. Don't even fucking, don't start with it. Don't start. Well, even I if must that go is and meditate case, to my murderous thoughts. Even if that were the case, we could do that next stream because, fuck. <laughs> like I said. Entering the top five seems like a, a good stopping point, so we have one more fight left. Yeah, yeah, just give me, give me the thing. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez, fixing for a fight, huh? Your next opponent will be oh. rank five, the Magic Koopa Masters. Now listen, son, this battle, I want you to appeal to the crowd at least three times. Okay. <laughs> the fans eat that stuff up, and a little grandstanding from our hero will get them all riled up. Now get in there, son. <laughs> oh god. The kick came after the fight with the fuzzies because they knew that it was going to be terrible. Uh... They probably didn't expect someone to have such bad luck that they leveled up from the fight, but you know. 
and almost have enough to be halfway through another level. Yeah, oh my god, these are three unique Magic Koopas. Fuck me, dude. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Underworld Servants. Yes, a fight to the finish with the Magic Koopa Masters! Come on, Mario, let's get this over with. Your fool would do well to fear our dark magic. Get yourselves ready to battle! I have murderous intentions right now, and all I could do is wave. <laughs> <clears throat> I okay. wish the stylish commands would, like, count towards appealing. That's a red magic Koopa. HP 7, attack 4, defense 0. Besides, this, besides using offensive magic, it could also use magic to bo boost attack and defense. When it's alone, this wizard will use magic to multiply. Oh no, not again. The fact that you- <laughs> No! The fact that you can't tell which is the real one after it multiplies is super annoying. I have to say, though, that shade of red is definitely not its color. Okay, it's a guessing game. You don't you don't get a new enemy to fight. It's a guessing game. That's all it is. <laughs> Just clearing that out there. Because <laughs> your stress looked palpable. I would heal first. Hot dog. Let hot there dog. be hot dogs! That, that's right, it only heals five. Y you, uh, you bought a bunch, though, so whatever. I hate that every single one of these is a unique fucking tattle. That's a white magic Koopa. It's a Koopa wizard dressed in white. <clears throat> HP 7, attack 4, defense 0. Attacks with magic and can replenish its allies' HP. Better hit it first, huh? It also says it'll use magic to make copies of itself when it's all alone. Which is totally annoying, because you can't tell the real deal from the copy! Ouch. Fine. It's better, because that means I'm taking less damage this turn. Oh my god, you only appealed twice? Mm-hmm. Because I had to stop and heal! Oh shit! Oh my god! This is a green magic Koopa. It's dressed in all green. HP 7, attack 4, defense 0. It has magic attacks can and can also use magic to make itself or allies electrified or invisible. Oh god. It says it'll also use magic to make copies of itself when it's all alone. Which is totally annoying, because you can't tell the real deal from the copy! You could swap up. Yeah, they have seven. You're right. Shit. And then I'll have Goombella do the appeal. I'm going to fucking lose it. I'm at seriously at my fucking limit. Wait, the white one can heal. Ha! Fine. Don't kill us.
Just... Yeah. Just bonk or multi-bonk if you can handle it. Go away! Cloud. <laughs> we got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez! Alright. Oh, fuck off. Mario! Oh, shit. That sounded like Bowser. Oh, no! I forgot! Oh, my God! Why did I forget? I'm so mad at myself. <laughs> Whoa! Another fighter storming in! Screaming his head off about something. Gonzalez has lots of foes, folks. Some who don't even know his name. Will he live? Word on the street is that some mustache doofus was in Glitzville, and looky here. Talk about perfect timing, and now all these folks get to watch me murderize you. I really wish I'd remembered this. Uh... Whoa, I'm gonna destroy you, and I have witnesses. Oh. Sweet treat. Yeah. Nice. It'll do. I have full FP now, at least. Yeah. That's Bowser! What is he doing here? My mind just blew a fuse! Mine too. Mine too. <laughs> I just feel dumb. HP 30, attack 3, defense is 1. He's uglier than I expected. Mood. He's got a poisonous punch. <laughs> so watch out. It'll make your HP decrease, decrease gradually. Also, if he ground pounds you, you won't be able to use one of your commands. Just focus your intention on beating him down, Mario. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Same brain cell. Anyways. Ooh, soft stomp would be useful because you lower because he yeah. has a defense of one. Nice. I'm going to beat you to death. Nice. Bitch. Ow. Oh, my bloodstream is screaming. That's probably not a good sign. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, well, I'd expecting I'd expect nothing less from you, Mario. Figures you'd get some licks in. Oh At good, it cancelled itself out. <laughs> Reset the counter. What do you mean? Bitch. Oh, that's lame. I guess it only does it'll only do it when it runs out. Probably. That's weird. Still though, I could have sworn it could have reset it though. So what was that about not getting much heals from that batch? <laughs> Listen, I don't know what happened. I just got bad luck with that batch. Apparently. Ugh. 
Bank. I'm really not in the fucking mood, I got Bowser. more fucking star points <laughs> from the fuzzies than Bowser. You got, like, fucking truckloads more compared to Bowser. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Oh, that's our Gonzalez. He don't even bat an eye when some fool ambushes him. Tough. You're tough, son. And you're only gonna get tougher. Stay tuned, folks. Until next time, everyone. See ya. Okay. Robo, why did you allow that? Here's your fight money of 19 coins, Mr. Gonzalez. Grubba, why the fuck did you allow that? Your rank went up because you met the conditions. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Email! Wow, that was Bowser, right? Jeepers, who would have thought he'd show his face here? Email! Really? Okay. Not, okay. That's fine, because we would have forgot what we were doing anyways. Not necessarily, because all I need to do is this. Another time, Goombella. <laughs> Alright, uh, okay. It felt oh very long. Yeah. It was the same amount of time as normal, but it felt very fucking long. Thank you all for watching. We're gonna try oh to do another one on Thursday, but... I'm going to kill Grubba. You know, life likes to get in the way. I fucking hate this job see, now. See you guys then. <laughs> Oh, God. Most of the time.